We are rolling. All right, hopefully I don't fuck this up, guys. Um, so yeah, welcome to this session of uh, at dawn they sleep. The it's part two of plans within plans, and it's I guess session six overall, right? So oh, yes. yes. Okay, so who wants to uh, recap what happened last week or two weeks ago or whenever we last played? What I sure remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I don't a remember. lot of happened, right? A shit ton of happened. Well, a lot of remember. We went to Club Succubus. Yeah. Uh, we had a couple of things to atone for. Yeah. Uh, you guys a couple, did. A couple of our party okay. members. Our Some coterie, of us. A couple members of the coterie got scolded. Uh, for their past actions. We were uh, fine. Do you remember those Why actions? bring up old shit? And we were fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> the past. And the past. No. We're living uh, in the they present. Also had the to past move. is in the past. Uh, Let it go. Well, there's a glitter That's bomb. At the very beginning, there's a glitter bomb. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. There was oh, a oh, oh, you tried to get me with the stink bomb, too, you jerk. Yeah, I was hoping you were going to stink the whole session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I... The fucking stigmata ruined my joke. It was great. We got a glitter stink bomb uh, from Klaus... Swastika. Swastika. Klaus Slausen. Klaus Slausen. Which makes me want a Reuben sandwich so bad. Von Middlecoff. Von Middlecoff. Klaus Slausen von Middlecoff. And... So we, we got glitter bombed, and uh, Tukum sent some guys to go follow up on that. Um, then, oh, you called Dick Bush, right? Yeah, I called, I called Dick Officer Dick Bush. Do you want to change his name? Do you want, do you want to name him uh, Dan Strachan? No, no. Dick okay, Dick Bush is fine. Dick Bush is, yeah. I like Dick okay. Bush. Okay, Dick Bush. So, Dick Bush. Um, <laughs> so we called Dick Bush. He was a little helpful. Um, and, uh, and then we, uh, we went to the club. Um, where we were where fine. St mm -hmm. Where Stigmata fine. and um, Fauna had to brand their old, their old, uh, the, I guess their, stones, their I new guess. babies, um, brand their new babies with a, a thing to basically just. Yeah, with Tremere Sorcery. Thin and blood. Tremere Sorcery. Yep. Their Thin uh, Bloods. The mob. Yep. The and, mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, we found out the Thin Bloods. Uh, so, yeah, and then uh, Charlie Stiletto and <laughs> Tukum. <laughs> Obviously, we're told, hey, if you can uh, <clears throat> entertain people tonight, uh, that you might get 10 grand. And? And it happened. And become the house band. Yeah, and become right. the house band. And then Ronnie and... Ripper decided to play a joke on me. And you got ridiculed for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> I took it with <laughs> style and grace. Yeah, you, you did. Uh, you yeah. took it already. We also found out Charlie Stiletto sucks dick. Uh, yeah, Peter, uh, he's a low key murderer. It is 2023. <laughs> That's true. Oh yeah, and his uh, his, he might have diabloried Emily. Yeah, his sire, his, yeah. one of his friends disappeared. Uh, disappeared. I don't know if I call him. You know, Jeanette's gonna hold you to the the right said Fred covers too. That's fine with me. Okay. All right. <laughs> and yeah, and then afterwards. Uh, we did well with the we did well with the music. So they totally there were some really good started. visuals that. Uh, yeah, some visuals. Yeah, and then Charlie visuals. decided some to artists, kick open the door very, yeah, very, very excitedly because he was proud of himself, and there was not a happy room waiting for us. What's not to be proud of? I make a living as a special effects artist. I can barely draw a dick. <laughs> <laughs> He's it never seen one. Before. Yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, Hi. so it was, the, it was the fangs for me. It was the fangs. Was the fangs. Yeah, yeah, no, the fangs really, me. really Same sold it. We entered a room full of. Uh, okay. We entered a room full of uh, what would seem to be perhaps La Sombra, uh, who asked us to go with them on uh, a journey. Allegedly. To allegedly. allegedly. Uh, to protect their kind of capo uh, mob boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went with them. And then we met. Upon. Oh, we met. Oh, we met some Giovanni scumbag. Giovanni. Uh, we met uh, an impish Giovanni <laughs> Guy that couldn't, couldn't explain why he was there, but uh, <laughs> 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 he's, he's very mysterious. Yeah, very, very mysterious. Very mysterious. Close to the best. That's it. That's Look, the main thing is in this household we don't like Italians. Um, <laughs> Rude. But <laughs> wow, from the Italian, I, I say uh, from the most Italian. Um, but yeah, and uh, and then we stumbled upon a horrific, horrific ritual massacre scene uh, with. Was cool. You thought it was horrific. 
Look, it can be a little really squeamish. Cool. It's all perspective. We're a little edgier than he is. Exactly. I, I guess exactly. so. Exactly. Just That's why I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he here. had a hard day. Yeah. I was like, you girls get up here. You're the ones who like this shit. <laughs> and then the, uh, the we like, sombra people blood. did like shatter Ooh. fuckery to teleport over to the bodies instead of walking mm-hmm. 10 feet. Uh, <laughs> well, they, you guys there? were on the balcony, yeah, so yeah. Bruno yeah, yeah. shadow people. <laughs> Bruno, Don yeah. I was like, he Don La Sombra, Don La Sombra says. Dramatic effect. <laughs> yeah. It says, on the night you call, you come to me on the night of my daughter's shadowing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here we are now. Oh, oh, and the last thing he said was. Find you a place. He said, Therese Vorman, that fucking bitch. Oof. And that's where we're going to start. Dropping the hard B. Yeah. She's a B. F that that B. 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 <laughs> right in the A. F that C. Okay. So, <laughs> so yeah. So, that's what he says. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Right so, in the pussy. What done now? Huh? What has Therese done now? Well, he goes, you know, we've had our suspicions about the Warman girls for quite some time. She's always been difficult to work with. And when you've had to deal with kindred scum as as long as I have, you start to develop an intuition about these things. And my gut has always served me well. So uh, listen, I'd like you to keep a close, fresh attention on her. And if you hear of anything, even if she has a bad fucking hair day, I want to know about it. You fucking hear me? You want us to spy on her for you. That's what I said. What we got. Yeah, what's in it for us? Mm -hmm. And when you say that, the two, the one guy that you just saw sort of like do his thing down below, kind of like steps forward a little bit, and then the other one, Tony, like kind of steps forward. Oh yeah, the interrogators. And then then the Don says, we could work something out. Mm. Like what? What do you guys have in mind? Uh, money, for starters, is well, always yeah, nice. I mean, you have money. Like, do you need money? Do clearly, I need money? I clearly don't need Clearly, you don't need money. Let's be more realistic here. Well, he needs observation. The question is, what do we need? Right. What do we what need? What do you guys need? Hmm. And he goes, you know, my, my kind, as old as we are, and because of what we are, we have enemies from all different reaches of the underworld, and then some. So we could use your ear. Let me know if you hear anything from Trees Foreman and, and Janet. It's fucking bitches. Look, before we agree to anything, I think we need to understand a little bit more about what this is. And I point to the massacre. The ritual site. Yeah, yeah. What's going on here with all the uh, dismemberment and uh, uh, funky symbols? That would be a pentagram, Charlie. Well, he goes. Funky symbols. <laughs> I know funky, funky symbols. symbols. <laughs> funky Cole Medina. He goes. <laughs> you know, we're of the prestigious High Clan La Sombra. If you haven't guessed already, because of recent dealings of some of our younger kind, they betrayed our clan, and in turn, my vintage is now being hunted. I broke away from the Sabbat. I wasn't looking to make allies with uh, with our enemies, the Camarilla. But uh, I fucking hate those oppressive, arrogant, iron-fisted elitists. Just as much as you do, right? So you're Anarchs? We haven't really aligned with anybody. We're just kind of getting our bearings together right now. We have, we're definitely not going to join the Camarilla ever. Fuck them. But, uh, but you know, Therese and Janet, Jeanette, even though they claim to have severed ties from the Ivory Tower, I, I still feel like she's a sympathizer. And she runs the operation with a hierarchy because old habits, they fucking die hard. We just want to be what every other anarch wants, to be free of oppression, to go about our own business. That sounds yeah, reasonable. Enough. To be fair, she has kind of treated our people 
like shit. How about this? Yeah, it's always telling it, do this, do that, you owe me a boon. For your cooperation and loyalty, you could have a boon, cash, weapons, contraband, security. Ooh, contraband. Let us know your price. Just keep close watch on those psycho putanas. Can we get our I want, newly sired? Yeah, we want them to know that we didn't fuck them over. They need to know the truth about what's going on here. Yeah, we want our newly sired vampires to be back with us. I'll see what I can do. Okay, that's what they want. I'll figure out what I want. You think about it. Okay, yeah. I'll get yeah, back you to you. Yeah, you need money. Well, yeah, but still. We don't need money. I don't need money. Well, you guys got money. I don't need money. <laughs> I say, okay, Charlie. Domain. What about it? We can always use more domain. Mm -hmm. Like the club, for instance? Like the club. Well. Or, or elsewhere. I'm not too picky. First right things now. first. Prove your loyalty. I'm going to have all my eyes on it. Okay, so what specifically or what kind of information? I mean, I know you're saying about her, you know, just give me the tiniest little details, but is there Listen, something we should be thinking? We don't We don't know for a fact. Just anything. We don't know for a fact it was Therese and Jeanette. Odds are it's them. Yeah, well, we just maniacs. want confirmation. Yeah, they are maniacs. They're psychos. And, and they're... Look, we're well aware. <laughs> And, 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 and they're 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 Camarilla sympathizers. They're hot too. Well, okay. They're relevant. That's true. They're bitches. How about this? <laughs> he doesn't, the hot he doesn't discriminate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He says we'll go our separate ways this evening. Okay. I'm sure you guys are capable of finding your way back to your haven. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if they ask, just tell them. It was an uneventful evening, and all went smooth. And uh, my my people will take care of this mess down below. Are we going to be protected in the meantime? Protected from what? What, what do you mean protected from what? Look at all this bullshit going around. You yeah, none of this bad dude. Does this, this have anything to do with you down below? Well, we're involved with you, and it seems to have something to do with you. I don't want any of this bad juju rubbing off on us and following us back Listen, to our home. I just want to make sure that we're going to get home, and no, we're not going to be targeted. We need to go back to our haven, and we don't want as to As far as I'm concerned, it won't come from me. Perfect. Okay, can one of your shadow boys do an exorcism on us so that we don't get any hitchhiking ghosts? <laughs> they kind of, nice. the two guys <laughs> behind them, they kind of laugh. <laughs> and they just kind of like roll their eyes. Stiletto, that's the least of our problems. Yeah. You know nothing. Have goes, you ever been haunted? <laughs> I don't know much about the Sabbat. He goes, before we do leave, though, maybe you could look over the scene and live out your fucking CSI daydreams and let me know what you come up with. And you could reach me here, and he <coughs> gives you guys a, a little card. He gives you guys a business card. Okay. Immediately, like, it just says the around. Dawn. The Dawn. Master Don. Don. Now is Dante Don staying with us or is Dante <laughs> leaving with them? Dante is with you guys. He's oh, okay. So Dante, yeah, you're he's one of you us guys. now. Huh? Bye, Dante. See you later. Well, I'm interested. I want to go down there and kind of check it out. He goes, you know, okay, okay. I want to go check it out. He goes, I'll, I'll unlock the door for you downstairs so you don't have to break your legs jumping down from the balcony. Oh, thank you. And, and we'll be chatting soon. Let's go, boys. <laughs> and so, as they're uh, turning their backs to go down the spiral stair staircase, they all make, like, the sign of the cross. Ew. Like mm -hmm. And... As a whole, I turn to Dante, I'm like, you work for that guy? No, the only people I'm really loyal to are the Giovanni. But we're trying to get closer to the dawn. Offer him some protection from my family. Ah, ah, the family, huh? I watch Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to slip one of these severed. So, and you, you, you hear them Wait, going what? downstairs, and Wait. you hear Wait. the door down below unlock. Okay, all right. Wait, what was that last part? I'm going to slip one of these severed hands into my pocket. I'm going to use it as a homunculus later. 
Okay, once you get down below, you can do that. Up, oh, up, okay. Upstairs right now, there's like nothing. It's just oh, I thought the upstairs was where the bloodbath was. No, it was downstairs. Oh, okay. In the area. Yeah, you guys were on top of the balcony. That's where he went up. And you guys were looking down at the bloodbath. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll lead the charge. And I go down the stairs. Okay. So. Very jauntily. So as I'm soon skipping as, steps. As soon as you guys open up the doors, you see the mess. And what you didn't see before, because you guys were on the balcony, the balcony was above, a, like, it looks like almost like a poem that was written in blood. And you couldn't see it from the, bal the balcony since you're directly above it. Okay, I want to read it aloud. What does it say? Kayla notices it first. Oh, okay. Find you a place that is yours and the mortals that dwell there. Let them be your sheepfold. Let them be your is that cup. Let them be your cup. Let them be your holy bread. Holy bread. Yep. So that is what is underneath the pentagram that we saw from the balcony. Mm. Written in blood. Sounds like some religious mumbo jumbo. Yeah, there's like massive giant pentagram in blood. Can I do a like what would it be? A cult kind of. Do I notice? You want to um, like? I want to see if I notice anything. Do I get? You guys want to like search the bodies and like, look around down yeah, there? I wanna, like, yeah, I want to see if I notice anything like a cult wise, like anything jumps okay. out of me. Okay. Everyone, roll an intelligence plus a cult. And what is my blood at? Oh, I'm at one. Yay me. We can share these. And if you guys want to do any blood surges, oh, before we start, the smell of the the blood from uh, this massacre is starting to uh, it's starting to rouse your beast a little bit. Everyone, okay. give me a rouse check. All right. Okay. Uh, pass. Uh, I got a blank. Oh, you failed. Oh, I failed. You're Great. You're hungry. You're you're feeling it. So are we do we're doing intelligence and a cult. A cult? How about you? You two. Do you guys go up? Okay, you're up to three. You're up to three? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I did get one success on the uh, yeah. roll. One? Just one? I one die. Okay. Uh, <laughs> two successes, two fails. Okay. Two successes, two fails. Okay. I got uh, two successes and a critical success. So what are we doing? Hmm. Intelligence so it plus a cult. And you guys can do blood surges too to add like two, uh, two extra... Only if you think we need it. It's up to you. I mean, you guys want to kind of... arouse the blood. You guys want to arouse the blood again? I'm good. I'm feeling pretty aroused. One, two, three, four, five, plus one with the star. So, yeah. Okay. So when you're looking, you, you're looking at one of the bodies, uh, like you see a severed arm and you see like, well, it looks sort of be like a symbol of like, almost like a cross and like the bottom of the cross is like a dagger and there's some like weird squiggly marks on top of it. Is um, that like a Death Eater sign? It looks holy. It kind of looks like the Camarilla symbol, but... Not quite. Not, not. But not. Do I know what it is? Well, you know it's from the Society of Leopold. This is from the Society of Leopold, guys. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and and from what you know of them, they're uh they're vampire hunters. <laughs> they're vampire hunters, guys. Fuck those guys. Oh great. Wait, so are you saying that so... this body here is a vampire hunter? Well that yeah. Well that part of the body. That uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Was. <laughs> His arm saying, was a vampire hunter. That <laughs> that severed hand. Was that the that you take? That'll be the one that I take. That is part of. Yes, they are vampire hunters or kindred hunters. Now, kind of side eye Dante as he takes this severed arm. I'm gonna use a ritual for it. Later. Wait, so does that mean? Do you think that all a the ritual, people huh? who are dead here are human? I might need to talk to you about some pieces. Uh, well, okay. Oh, well, I is can that provide. What mean about the the body, the uh, sacrifice. I guess was that the so was something with the etching. You do notice that, like the one that got his head smashed by the Lasombra, uh, Bruno. 
uh, that that thing is definitely it was human at one point no longer human you know it's kindred now it's blood smells like you know and also it was like, right yeah like, <laughs> right <laughs> Exactly. So, but so he's like deformed. He's and... not it, like like a Nosferatu or like uh... he's just very. He was like wild. Okay. So they were kindred and like a thin blood wild. So they they fought. Maybe like well. A so you know, uh, you know, everyone give me like a, a wisdom, a wits plus investigation. Okay. As we're like looking wits. all over this, I'm like pulling rings off of fingers and like so, digging through pockets and emptying wallets and okay. stuff. Well, you don't find wallets. Oh. Uh, I'm rolling what now? Success. Well, just one? Two, two. success. Two Wits success. plus investigation. Three success. You got a critical success, though. Oh. Critical success. Okay. Success. And two success. What, what are we rolling here? Wits plus investigation. And crit success. I got one. You get two. Oh, okay. Gotcha. If you get two, then they count as two each. Oh, okay. I got one success. One tree. That You guys want to do blood surge? I... Yeah. To I will do blood search. How do I do that? Do a rouse check. <laughs> you just have to declare before you roll. Yeah. Okay, I'll, let I'll, you do I'll do it. Or, or you guys can also re roll. Pass. You guys, hold on. Hold on. Listen. You guys, if you want to re roll some dice, you can roll up to three dice. You could use a willpower. Yep. Okay. Unfortunately, Scratch out with the rouse check? That would only give you one additional success. Oh, okay. What's up? With the rouse check? Is that what you no, mean? No, no. Uh, with the rouse? Forget the, the rouse check. Oh. You can re-roll dice. So here's what you could do. Like a lot of times, like almost ensure success. You could do a rouse check to add two dice to your die pool. And that's just, you know, it's a rouse check. That's a blood surge. And then if you fail, which you guys are failing right now. No, I got you, I passed. Well, oh, wait, fail. You, you, there's a certain DC number I have on my gotcha. a target. I have four. If I'm you four. guys need to re-roll more dice use a willpower and you can re-roll up to three but they can't be any of your blood die right okay 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 i didn't yeah i got i added and then i got no i got four good job i uh okay used then willpower. i need to use a willpower okay well kayla upon succeeding um you you you're able to kind of like look at what happened and kind of ascertain like What's going on? You explained to them that um, there was Society of Leopold Hunters. They're there for an ambush, but they're intercepted by Sabbat members. And then uh, the Sabbat performed like a, a bloodbath right on the Society of Leopold. And and then looks like there was, upon the ambush, like one Sabbat was wounded and just left to stay there. He was left behind because... From which, you know, the Sabbat are ruthless and they don't really care about leaving theirs behind. They will they don't give a shit. They'll just let them there to die. Like every man for themselves. Yeah. I mean, as they'll help each other out as far as like succeeding, but they saw him as like a, a weak, you know, like they're better off without him. So ambushed by Hunter, Sabbat intercepted into by Tate Ritual. Mm-hmm. Well, so does that mean the, the Hunters were here waiting for us dawn. yeah that's what i that's what i gather the hunters were here and the sabbat intercepted the why dawn. well then why were the sabbat here exactly they were both here for and who the hell dawn. is the sabbat so the hunters, you want to do a, a, a roll a ringer for, for a ringer yeah well i mean I see my guy doesn't really know what the sabbat are but he might know like wait, the samitzi would probably know land in the sabbat I mean, you I guys mean, want... they were, but I, I mean, we're so far removed. Do you guys want to do now. an intelligence plus like a cult and see if I could explain something to you? Might you may have heard about them? Yep. So intelligence plus a cult. So yep. one, two, three, four, one, two. What happened to the music? Oh, I didn't put it on this oh, time. Okay. We got hit with copyright things. So did we? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, I but got all fails. If we ever made money on it, I'll oh. go to them. Got three. Two. What am I rolling here? Sorry. Zero. It's uh, uh, I was focused on the microphone. Intelligence plus a cult. Intelligence plus a cult. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It'd be like a cult vampire. So if anybody has a I cult got, vampire, you get an extra die. I got three successes and a uh, star success. I fucking nailed it. So four it. total? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. 
So yeah, what you know about the Sabbat? They're a um, they're a faction that that hate hiding. You know, they they don't believe in the masquerade. They don't believe that they have to hide their okay. vampire nature. And they're out and proud. They're out and proud, and but that's what's getting them killed too. At the same time, the Second Inquisition is or the Society of Leopold or whoever is able to hunt them down easiest because they don't hide their vampire nature. Okay. So and also uh, they have like you know they have um certain rituals that they perform uh -huh. and they're usually involving human sacrifice and eating one another and shit like that so huh. yeah that's kind of what you've heard okay over your what three years you've been a vampire so. yes yeah but you've never real fun guys at the party yeah you've never um from what you know that there's not too many of them left uh-huh and there shouldn't be any in la Right on, right on. Great. Great. So so the Sabbat are back in L.A. Now, obviously. Well, they're at least doing a tour. <laughs> World tour! Drive, drive by. Um, I'm, I'm curious to find out what, what, um, what their ties to Therese are. And if that has something to do with why the Dom is also in town. We could ask about that next time we're at the uh, Succubus Club. It just seems like all of these things happening all at the same time is more than a coincidence. And well, us, Dante. us, yeah, Dante's now in the mix with us. Well, you're all more of a sudden, you're with Don than any of us. So spill the tea on that. Well, I don't know the Don personally. My father just sent me along to build up some trust with the Don's family. That's all I know right now. So you don't know anything about the Sabad or anything like that? Nope. I'm just along for the ride with you guys. And I'm like eyeballing you. <laughs> eyeballing you. Right? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, 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 it all just see, it all seems hella sus to me. Yeah. This is pretty sus. I'm like, wait, you have no... Uh, you are <laughs> sus. You purple. have no... Um, the coterie is very suspect of Dante. Just here yeah. for Let that the be noted. ride? Like, that doesn't, like, that doesn't so make sense to me. Come get killed? Yeah, I, I grab like, Dante you, by the lapels and I say, who do you work for? the Dom who happens to be in town when there's happens to be this occult fucking massacre. Stiletto's grabbing... And you're, like, around for the ride? They don't tell me anything. Starly's, uh, <laughs> Stiletto's grabbing... Dante by the lapel and shaking. shaking. Who do you work for? Who tell me? Tell me who do you work for? And I'm trying to use my awe on him, but uh, it obviously doesn't really work. Can I use well, awe on another vampire? You can. But two words. You can. But a, a, a vampire that's a generation higher than you, you just use a willpower to negate it. Oh. So well, you then. could you could use it, but then she could either try to roll against it and not use her willpower, and then all would work. Or she could just use willpower and negate it instantly. Okay, I'll try. I'll try to use my. She's I'll higher. use my awe. She's uh, higher. She's twelve. Uh, and along for the ride. And along for the ride. Yeah. Yeah. So, you yeah, so, so yeah, I try to use well, awe. Okay, so he's using awe. Do you want to use a willpower to negate it? Just yeah. Automatic. Okay. <laughs> so what do you say to him? You know he's trying to use his his uh, his powers on you. Well, that's not gonna work on me, little boy. Oh, oh, little <laughs> boy. Okay, I, I, I like him after all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to mark the willpower. Oh, yeah, yeah. Little boy. I mean, God, how did damn you it, know our nickname for him? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> <laughs> kind of agree with uh, this right now. And how can we trust you? I mean, I kind of have more trust in her now. <laughs> Of course you do, <laughs> jerk ass. <laughs> jerk ass. I've never seen a vampire turn red before. It's weird. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, I'm not. Know. I'm not turning red. It's the light. <laughs> Is it going off the blood? It's. it's... No, I, I let go of Dante and I kind of like straighten out my my T-shirt and like you, you forcefully engage his blush of life. <laughs> against his will <laughs> but i also like the blood also i kind of sense that like he means business and that he's like much stronger than me so i'm just like yeah wow. <laughs> no well, shit with that with him with dante negating that you guys know that they're a little more powerful than you right i'm still sus and then i and then like i kind of like brush yeah. dante's like suit and like you know kind of like 
like unruffle the the, the the things I did. It's like a, and then I, I, I pat him on the chest. You I'm unruffle like, yeah, the Sorry about that. I had to test you. <laughs> <laughs> and you passed. <laughs> Good job. Hard eye roll. Hard eye roll. Okay. So what do you guys want to do? You guys want to go see Vormin or Can we like just look around this joint and see if there's anything worth stealing or like discovering? You know? You guys have pretty much done everything you could do. I mean you Did found we find IDs. No, they don't have IDs. Okay. No, no, no IDs. Yeah, no, they didn't have any wallets. Oh, Trust me, have... I look. They didn't have wallets. Okay. They didn't no have wallets, like... no credit cards. They didn't have rings. They didn't even have any yeah. money clips. What did the rings? Did no, the rings? No, no none of them had rings. Or... No, they didn't. No, there was no rings or jewelry oh, okay. or anything. There, don't there worry was... about that. <laughs> oh, as far as and you I'm know... like, I'm like, take a step, and my pockets just <laughs> jingle. Stiletto found nothing. Jingle, jingle, jingle. As far as you know, unless you're what you know, do a wits plus. Let's see. Because I think he was... Do wits plus awareness to see if you notice him. I mean, I would probably want to... Do, do wits plus okay. awareness. Do I, I don't do a wits plus awareness, no. do I? Okay. Yeah. Everybody's looking at me right now? Well, I, I'm... No, no, just... One her. fail, she wants to see. one pass. No, 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 just, just uh, stigmata because she's the one oh, who's... Oh, gotcha. Um, and since you were busy looking at other things yourself... Stigmata? Stigmata? Since you were busy looking at other things... While he was looking for stuff, you're at a, a minus two pe uh, penalty. Oh, you're mean, head. <laughs> Eight successes. One. Yeah, you, right. you didn't notice anything. <laughs> yeah, I just got like Bitch. my hands in my pockets and I'm whistling. Like, <whistles> just look at, uh, looking around. Hmm. Yeah, this is a warehouse. Uh -huh. Definitely, definitely a dirty concrete warehouse with blood and body parts everywhere. Yeah, but you guys are hungry from it. Maybe we should feed. Yeah, can I just like grab one of these severed feet and suck on it a little bit? It's, it's like my dead. thirst. I mean, yeah, the blood's can... coagulating and yeah. it's it's not. Gonna... And it's smelly. It's Listen, blood. smelly don't bother me. I mean, I, like I know I can worse. smell yeah. you. Oh well, especially in blood. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's putting you off your meal. <laughs> I mean, this blood and you together. <laughs> Not yeah, if we great. watch him feed, does it reduce our hunger? Yeah, these one? dead guys like, stink. Yeah. <laughs> no, it actually raises your hunger by one. Ooh. Makes Shit. you hungry. You know that he's being, his uh, hunger is being uh, satisfied and yours isn't, so it's making oh, you jealous. The beast. Oh, the beast. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Cry. You, Wait, the whose hunger is being These body care. parts aren't going to do shit for you. Great. But okay. there is a guy who just had his eyes gouged out. Oh, and he's a little, he's, he's still crawling around. No, he, but he's like he's kind of like. Wait, wasn't that the Sabat guy? No, that well, was well, the guy. Um, that was the dude that was like nailed to the front of the stage. Let's talk. And then he got him. his he's eyes. Alive? He's not alive. He's dead. He's oh. but he's freshly dead, oh. like moments ago, like minutes. Ah, like so he's like fr newly dead. Yeah, so newly I just dead. start slurping on one of the eye holes. So I wouldn't succumb. Yeah, you're disgusted by the body. Yeah. Yeah, you look at the body like fuck no. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I just like get down. I start slurping on his eye hole. <laughs> it doesn't taste too good to you. It, it's it's beneath you. Oh, it's beneath me. Beneath him. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> the person can't say yes. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh. Fuck. Forgot about that. Well, I mean, does that does that not does that count? Does that, they can't they can't say oh, no if they're is. dead. Cons the dead can't <laughs> consent. <laughs> ah, fine, fine, fine. Auto fine. Yeah, what, what's auto yes? really but like <laughs> blood sucking. What would that be? Whatever. I'll call up one of my uh, one of my little <laughs> little groupies at some point. Necro We're going back Could I have a flask Necro of blood on me since I'm a Necro bagger? Vitae. Necro Getting Vitae. like black market. You're a bagger. That's your your yeah. Um, did you bring one on you? Yeah, it's here. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> right next to the severed hand. There you go. Suck right. Dante, uh, Dante, were those uh, willing? Keep it, uh, cool. keep it if yeah. It's well preserved. Were those willing uh, blood blood letters participants? It's of a high quality nature. That's as much as I can say for it. Might if I get a little wow, sip, babe. the sippy sip, a little nip. Yeah. <laughs> you try and, and it's like it's just not satisfying to you because it's not saying yes. Okay, fine. Uh, sorry so, to waste your blood. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't say yes. So the blood doesn't not a magic to you. Flask. Sorry. <laughs> so. Slake one hunger. 
Yeah. Yes. So you're at what? One before or two? Oh, now you're back to one? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, because you, you got hungry again, right? At the beginning mm-hmm. with the rust check? Okay. Mm-hmm. So you're at two, now you're back down to one. Cool. Mm-hmm. Good job. So what do you guys want to do? Um, is there anything else to explore in here or do we kind of just like do all of that? You want to look around some more? Yes. Uh, as far as the crime scene is concerned, it doesn't seem like you can find anything else. Okay, that's what I was okay. wondering. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'll call her driver. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, get the fuck out of here. It's creepy. Mm-hmm. So okay. are we heading back to Club Succubus? Yeah. So it's is it one of your truck drivers or is it? Well, it's not, well it'll be a regular like limo driver. A limo driver? Oh, well, our driver. Uh, whatever yeah. it is. Uh, okay. Do we not have a limo? Or we have a house driver. Yeah, like a Lincoln Town Car. Yeah, I was going to say. Town Car. So when you call, uh, hello? Yeah, it's me. Spectre speaking. Spectre's not Spectre answering the driver. phone. He's not our driver. <laughs> <laughs> Spectre's a bitch. He's not going to drive us around. He's never, you don't want Spectre to drive you? Yeah, he's like, never in it. Like, he can't even navigate his way walking, okay? He's not driving. I have a sheet made for Spectre, but he has a little driving. How, how do you think he got to your uh, your your haven the first? Somebody picked his ass up. He Uber did not drive. You guys want to call it Uber? Yeah, yeah. Let's call a. a, a you want Uber or you want a driver? Do we not have a driver? Don't we have a driver. a driver. Who's your driver? You need a name or a driver? Yeah. We need a specific. I mean, do you guys have we like a, a name? Yeah, I think you want someone with haven. stats. Like the stats, the haven stats. We have a high haven stat, so we have like a driver and stuff. The, okay, well, you tell me what it is. Tell me the, the stat. Oh, let me see your sheet. You have it, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys got to have like the stat in it. You I know, know I think she has something uh, like that. Retainer. Right? Retainer? Mm. I thought she had it. Do I? Do I have a retainer? No, I've got my enemy resource. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because we had a driver last one. Yeah, we had a driver last time. We've had a driver this whole time. Okay, so call somebody. Who it's wants, who wants to make a call? Yeah. And who is it that you're calling? The driver. I know, but who's the driver? What like, name what's his name? Do they have a name? Uh, Drivey McGee. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let, let's just say it's a limo driver. Just uh, Yeah. Okay, Okay. cool. It's yeah, I was making service. the whole thing about it. Just, like, come pick us up. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm on my way. Okay. And then, yeah, within a few, like maybe Stephanie, within like twelve minutes, someone shows up, and there's a limo. It's All right, for you guys, white limo. White, it's black. It's, it's white. Not white. Ew. Well, you didn't specify color. It's black, dude. We don't we'll use this. We do not <laughs> even specify. It, it, it's well, we would not be driving around a white fucking limo. Our limo. Do you want to talk to the, the limo driver? Yeah, the limo. Yeah, this is not our driver. Specter, hello. <laughs> do you want to send him back? And wait for another. No, another Andy. No. <laughs> I'm on with it. It's a white wait, limo. Andy didn't prepare anything this session. Hold on. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's a white limo. Okay, fine. It's but a fucking white limo. Would it be? Would Where are you guys be? going? Back to oh, I guess. Back to no, we're, we're we're going to Club Sucky. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, I mean, our instructions are to fucking keep tabs on Therese. We and he wants. Also, we, if you and remember, he we wants, were just there. Yeah, but we he wants us there. to let her know that everything went good. He was like, tell him, yeah, what did he say? In. Yeah, check back in, an eventful evening. Everything okay. Everything planned. Yeah, I mean, I guess if we could if we go back there. But otherwise, I feel like... Uh, well, we can all get our eat on. Real, yeah, realistically. Yeah. We, I get my nose we, we, we were there movies. most of the night already, went and did this, and now we'd be coming back at like four in the morning or something. Or whatever time you'd say it is. It'd be like, is it yeah, it's probably like... One thirty-two. Yeah, so if the, I mean the club is potentially still open. Mm-hmm. Vampire, yeah, mm-hmm. I would cl- assume it would close at it's, dawn. It's close to like last call. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's, let's head back. The club call? suck you, but well, I mean, there, it's also humans are there too. It's so. like a Fantasia. It's like Fantasia, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We were just we've just been watching True Blood. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a bunch of fang bangers there. Well lit yeah. Vampire bar. Yeah. yeah, that is yeah. It's like the lamest vampire bar I've ever Fame seen. I used to hang out at a goth club that was way more vampire than that shit. The Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah. Okay. So, so you guys arrive after with with like no, um, you know, with no issue, and you guys show up to Club Succubus, and 
it's not a super busy night. Like people are starting to like go to after parties. They're starting to leave and is um uh, on our way in. Like I want to like look around and try to find one of my my uh, my my groupies and see see if I see anybody. Dude. What's plus awareness? Okay. Is uh, Harold, Helena, and Birdie still here? Did you send them back home? I don't recall. No, they, uh, we left. I they completely stayed. failed. You failed. Yeah. You don't, but if you want to engage your awe, so you might attract somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I'll just turn my awe on and be like, who wants to get sucked? Yeah, as soon as you do that, like there's <laughs> guys and girls both just looking at you, and they remember you from... Earlier the night, yeah. yeah. Earlier the night, the guy goes, "Is it true what they say about Charlie's?" <laughs> yeah, a guy comes up to you. Oh my God, pipe bomb! That song, that's gonna be a fucking hit. Yeah, why don't you why don't you come back to to one of these uh, rooms with me? I got some business to discuss with you. And then he like looks at one of his 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 uh, buddies that he's with, and he like winks at him. And then I wink at him too. I'm like, and then he's like, <laughs> and then we had yeah, and then we head back. He's giddy. Yeah. Okay. And then he he follows you. Yeah, and I'm Where'd like, you, hey, you ever been, uh, you ever been fed on before? What? What do you mean? You know, give me your blood. <laughs> I'm a rock star. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Angelina Jolie. I mean, and, I figured okay. you'd be into some kinky. You were gonna but... suck my dick, and you don't want me to like just bite you. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, I. I there's a first time for everything. I mean, you damn ahead. right there is. Come here. Uh, okay. Uh, I just wanted to suck your dick. Oh. <laughs> like, trust me, this is gonna feel way better. And then you bite him. Yeah, and I bite him. Okay. And he's just like, oh, we. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet he's, mystery of life. He's in rapture. Yeah. 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 And I slake my thirst. So I got what, two what hunger. Have? You're at two. Mm -hmm. So I'm go down to one. Okay. I mean, can I go so, down to zero? Nope. You okay. gotta kill them. You gotta kill them. I'm gonna kill him with two. <laughs> so you took like 20% of his blood. So he, he's, okay. he's a little lethargic after that. I will see you later, cowboy. Okay. And I just leave him in the room. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> he's laying there like he just, his whole body was drained of ejaculate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Good. There's Thank a big you. wet spot on the front of his pants. <laughs> Good. Hot. Thanks first time. Mm -hmm. First timers. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys want to try to feed too? Yeah, I just asked if uh, they were still there. They're still there. Okay, so I... Who did I feed on last time earlier in the night? I fed on... I don't remember. Well, one of the ones that you didn't feed on. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to find. Hold on. They see you. Okay, Helena. So I'll take Harold. Harold sees you, like goes over to you. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm better now. Do you want to follow me? <gasps> Where? Let's go in the back. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> and you follow him. No, he follows me. Oh, he me. follows you. Yeah, he follows me. And then I oh, um, good. set him down and I... Washing machine, uh, dishwasher. God damn it! There we go. <laughs> and I feed. Sorry. And then mm -hmm. I like. Where are we at? Uh, two. And I lick so the one. wound closed okay. and um. Uh, laser all. Yeah. And then I call I'll over. Helena. A jacket gone. <laughs> Helena and Bertie to give him some water and some crackers. I'm like, okay. you know, give him some water and crackers. He deserves crackers. a cracker. Okay. He deserves a cracker. <laughs> yeah. They just donated blood. Bertie, Bertie oh. needs to give him a cracker. And they go, I want a sticker. Uh. <laughs> and I can't keep my vampire stickers, and I just put it on the deck for him. Okay. What do you mean a vampire sticker? <laughs> my band aids that have little little thing like little feet, thing, okay. yeah, <laughs> little thing marks, and I just keep them, and I put it on this thing. It's on his neck. <laughs> there's no, there's no wound. It's just Ooh they like their stickers. It's just cute. Yeah, right. I don't know why, but Harold, Helena, and Bertie all like their stickers. They're they're band aids after, after. Yeah, he wears it proudly. So who else wants to feed? I want to feed. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. So, Watch out for this guy. Yeah. yeah so. We're all like cutesy about it. <laughs> Come with me, Harold. He's yeah, a messy it, eater. My guy's not quite as orgasmic in mm. his feeding, so um, I go outside. Okay. Go outside. 
He is looking. He's, he's scouting around. Okay. For foreigners. Foreigners. Specifically, Jesus. specifically, he's looking for people who are out of towners. Out like of towners. you know, people coming to Hollywood because they think it's so great. But oh, okay. you know, this is our town. You know. I thought you meant like Armenians or something. Not like specifically Armenians, <laughs> but he would settle for an Armenian. Like no, but um, <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah, he's looking, and what he does is. He's just gotten so routinely accustomed to scoping out license plates, you know. So he's looking for foreign license plates. Yeah, you do see one across the street with a, a Michigan license plate. Michigan. Yeah. Ew. Fuck it out of towners. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now, do I see the person, or is it only the I just spot the plate? You spot the plate. So what he's going to do is he's going to find a nice, quiet spot to hide. Mm-hmm. And he Fortunately, it's parked right in between like two buildings where those there's like a alleyway. Oh, what? so it's like okay. so he can basically very strategic. He's gonna hide in the alleyway. He's looking for cameras, anything that might give him away. He's okay with waiting and kind of patiently stalking his way. Okay, and probably within like ten minutes, somebody walks up to the car, a female, um, and she's undoing her her car, like trying to like put her keys in the car. I'm mocking it. I'm doing her car. I'm doing her car. <laughs> I'm mocking so, it. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, he's going to, you know, just swiftly come up and grab her from behind the bike. Whoa, hey, you surprised me there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? Roll a um, strength plus, plus brawl. Strength. Yes. Brawl. And I'm going to roll something, too, for her, mm -hmm. but I'll be at a, a negative, because it was yeah. a surprise. See if you beat me. Okay. One, two, three, four. Without any effort, you grab her, and you bite right into her, and she lets out a gasp. And he's going to kind of pull her into the alleyway, just so it, you know he can continue his feeding for a moment undisturbed. And... Let's see. Um, let me roll some wits plus. See if anybody noticed. Mm -hmm. Lucky, nobody noticed. Bah, bah, bah. Cool. So you uh, do it without anybody noticing and uh, and breaking the masquerade. I'm gonna drink two hunger. Okay. And then, um, well, she's all. You know, yeah, she's pretty fucked up now. She's got like 40% of her blood drained. So What he's going to do is he's going to uh, pull her over by her car and kind of lay her... And as you're doing that, there there's a couple that's walking walking by. They see you doing that. Guy rolls stealth? Huh? Guy rolls stealth to try to be avoid, to avoid being seen? Well, it's like there's a, a street light right above you. The couple, it's pretty hard to... Well, so you said I would, so I pulled her into the alleyway, right? Mm -hmm. So I would pull her to the edge of the alleyway. Okay, the edge of the okay. And so if I see a couple approaching, uh -huh. then I try to basically spot them before I would break my. Sure. Um, wits plus awareness. Wits awareness. DC two. Oh my god! I fed my hunger. Yeah, just a DC two, not too hard. Uh, three. Okay. Yep. So I'll do is I'll kind of await the edge of the alleyway, mm -hmm. just be monitoring her. I'm, I, you know, I've licked the wound closed. I'm not. I'm not trying to like kill her. So they just walk on by. They don't notice shit. They, they. I mean, they, they do see you like holding her or like you know kind of messing well, with her. But, like but they, they making out with her. So. Well, they they kind of figure that she might be drunk. And you're just trying. It's you know, it's a have her over my shoulder a, kind yeah. of thing. Or yeah, like, yeah. You know, like I have her kind of propped up. Like yep, that. yep, that's fine. And they just walk by uneventfully. Hold you, that's drink so much. And you're good. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll uh, kind of just look around and set her gently by the side of a car. All good. And retreat back into the shadows. All right, cool. You did it. What if she's like? Kidnapped him because of you. Don't you feel bad? Don't worry, that's why I'm waiting in the shadows. Do to make sure that she gets home safe. <laughs> you want to try to feed? <laughs> do you want to try to feed? No, I'm only at one. So okay, you're good. good. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you guys want to do now? I was hungry. Let's uh, let's go see Jeanette. 
Yeah, who's going to be Was there? it Jeanette or Therese? Who are we supposed to be seeing right now? He wants you to keep an eye on both. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll keep an eye on them. Mm-hmm. But it was Therese who was there when he uh, arrived that night. Okay. Can you hear me pretty good? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you pretty okay. good. Okay. So, yeah. You guys want to knock on the door? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Knock on the door. She says, come in. And I kick the doors open and say, where's my motherfucking money? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. You, When's my next show? You fucking asshole. If you break that door, you got to pay for it, okay? Hey, listen, I got 10 grand in my pocket, sister. This door can't cost that much. When's my next show? We could just hire a top 40 cover band instead of you. You know that, right? Oh, no, you not after the show I just pulled, man. They want to see me again. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, so, speaking of which, when's my next show? We're working on it, but what did you guys learn? Well, we learned there was a pile of bodies. Yeah, there was a big old fight where we got ended up. Wait, what? We're not supposed what? to... No. What? what? Oh, fuck, guys. You... Explain. It was a fucking slaughter, dude. <laughs> There was some vampire hunters and some Sabat, and a bunch of them were dead. Looked like the Sabat won. And she notices that Sigmata is kind of like looking with her, her eyes wide, and she's shocked. She goes, "She goes, cat got your tongue." Yeah, I look at Sigmata. I'm like, "What's that? What's that supposed to say?" <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Two come comes up like wiping like, his mouth off. What did I miss? Well, apparently there are some dead bodies. There's dead bodies wherever we go. Mm. Ooh, okay. So roll a... Uh, you want to try to convince her? You want to try to lie to her now, huh? Roll a... Uh... Hold on, pause. No, 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 I no, no. no, no. I don't want to lie to her. What the fuck, y'all? Okay, Too late. that's all. No, okay. I know. I just wanted to say, what the fuck, y'all? So... I didn't realize that, that that part of it was supposed to be secret. <laughs> Spying on her, dude. Manipulation. Yeah, but if you get her yeah, uh, like I, upset I and flustered, she's but, much more likely to make a slip up and you know. Manipulation plus persuasion. All of us are. I yep. didn't say okay. shit. Well, let me see here. Team and. Team. And I'll roll something for her. Okay. I have one success, which is terrible because I'm supposed to be really good at that. Three oh, successes. One, two, three, mm -hmm. six, seven, six. Okay. Well, you didn't see anything, so... I, got, right, I didn't either. I got two stars and then two. Two, two stars, two stars two. are four, then. Four, four. six. Damn. All right, so what are you going to tell her? Yeah, I got six as well. I just, like, shut up. <laughs> For now, <laughs> I'm gonna let you Save talk first. Piece. This is, you guys. Someone else has to go in first. I can't. You be guys the one always succeeded, the door open. but you better say something convincing. You're. I'm. I'm gonna make you guys role play this. I know. Hold on. Give me a second. My brain has to fucking yeah, figure out this shit. Hold moon. on, Andy. What, what I'm Man, say, this cherry moon's got me fucking I'm flying. Trying. What I'm gonna say is the only See, thing I saw. The only thing I know. The only thing I saw was a body that had the symbol of the society of leopold or some kind of one vampire. body i heard plural bodies i think that's the there, there were more bodies but that whoa, 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 whoa. what do you mean more bodies well, were more. it was kind of undiscernible they were more like in parts exactly <laughs> that's even worse but like i was saying that's the one that had like a, a symbol on it for the Society of Leopold. So you guys are basically just going to tell the truth in regards to what... Well, I'm trying to avoid the whole Sabat part. What the... I'm trying to give a little bit of truth and she... so that she doesn't have to... No, we still want Therese to trust no, us. No, okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Therese still I... needs to trust us. If we're going to get any kind of information she goes, from Therese... She goes... We have to play both sides here. Listen. 
Dante's got the arm if you want to see it. There's a better way to do just it. Let me, let me, like, let me see I say just yeah. part, part honest and part uh, deceit. Yeah. Let me see that fucking arm. Show Therese the arm. She goes, yep, that's Society Leopold, and she throws it right back to you. She goes, listen. So vampire hunters are after that dawn. Listen, listen, listen. The, the, the dawn, he, he arrived and caught me with my pants down. I was gonna let that. I'm not. I was going to let those fucking self righteous, holier than thou Jesus fuckers and the Don go at it together and fight. Yes, I set them up. I, I knew they're gonna be there. Yes, absolutely. Well, you knew we were gonna be there too. You set us up. But I didn't know he was gonna come here tonight. And then he requested you, you guys, to go with him. I didn't expect that, and I couldn't well, say you, it. A like heads like up would have been nice. Shot. I couldn't say anything in front of him. So you don't like the Don very much. <sighs> Listen, he wasn't supposed to stop by and ask for help, but I couldn't just tell him no. That would have been bad for business. Couldn't you just let Dante go? <sighs> you guys could handle yourself, so I just figured the fucking hunters would have met their end by your hands, and I'd have to try again another time. <laughs> so trust us. It would have been good training for you, right? Yeah, sure. I no, I, 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 I You set us up. I didn't set you up. I set him up. I didn't know he was going to come here. Well, so. now I feel like... Listen, he... you guys are alive, okay? No, well, I'll count on you, your part. Yeah, no thanks to you. They didn't attack you, did they? Well, we need something in return because you set us up to get fucking slaughtered. Yeah, they didn't, fucked up. They didn't... Do you guys have to fight? Well, luckily, no, but... Well, then what's the issue? What do you mean, what's the issue? Well, how are we supposed to trust you now without you greasing our palms a little bit? We need you to tell us more. What? What's What's this? Yeah. I need Lady Greta back from your Listen. hands. Yeah, you said... Oh, uh, at the very least, we need to know why we almost died tonight. Listen, the dawn is bad fucking news. Yeah, and how do you know the dawn? His... He owns all of Sunset Strip and Hollywood Strip as well. He owns all the buildings. His family's owned this for generations. He owns this. But what is the Don? Why Why tonight of all nights? What is he doing here? What's his ties to you he, now? He stops in randomly. I can't control that. But how did you know that's where he was going tonight? Because I have intel. It's no wonder the guy's so fucking paranoid. Come on. I'm the Baron. Of course I've intel. I have eyes everywhere. Why do you want him dead so bad? <sighs> His kind... They got us all hunted. They ignored the masquerade for far too long and piqued the interest of hunters from every fucking corner. Once the humans got the better of them, they sought refuge in the arms of, of their fucking immortal enemies. They are responsible for so many hindered meeting their untimely ends. That's why. Well, that seems... Listen. The Sabbat, because of them, we're all hunted. These hunters, they don't distinguish between Camarilla, Anarch, Sabbat. We're all the same to them. And because of them breaking the masquerade, we're all getting hunted. Are you saying that, are you accusing the Don of continuing to break the masquerade even in these nights? I don't know, but I know at one time he was Sabbat. No, well, he told us that he kind of broke away from the Sabbat. At one time he was Sabbat. That's what I just said. Hmm. Doesn't, doesn't forgive his sins. We're still fucking being hunted because of him. How did you set up the hunters. That's not any of your concern. If you... That's not any of your concern. I have my ways, but you guys are not supposed to be involved. But fortunately, you're all safe. Well, now the motherfucker is more though? paranoid than ever. Well, I mean, you're here. You're alive. Are we safe? I mean, <laughs> well, as safe as I am or as safe as any other kindred. What's to stop you are, from taking us... these guys on us? Yeah. That. Or anyone else. Listen, for your troubles and for your honesty, I'll let Stig and Thana 
have some time with the two little baby girlies. Time? Try right. Baby steps. That's all you're getting from now. And we'll take it from there. Charlie, let us know what equipment you need. And it's yours. Mm -hmm. Took right. them. You could have a weapon from an arsenal. In fact, all of you can. Ooh. Dante. <laughs> Dante, you look like you would also benefit from some, some like some sort of protection of your own. So if you want to go with Tukum and the rest of them, you could go look. Okay. We got something nice. All right. Free geek. But you guys are helping me, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. I just give her. We came really... back here, didn't we? Dirty ass look. I'm I think pissed. you still have some explaining to do. I'm pissed. What do you want to know? Well, I mean, I'm pissed too. But there's this certain, is a good start. There's certain things I can't tell you. I can't tell you about my intel. I can't tell you that. But there's other things I can't. What do you ask me anything? If you guys are working with me, I'll, I'll tell you some stuff. Why is the Don so fucking paranoid? I mean, I get it, but who else is he, after? He's had well. <laughs> There, there's kindred that fucking hate him, and there's second inquisition that hate him. Everybody hates the dawn. His power is coming to an end, and he's like a fucking rabid wolverine in a corner. Okay, and what you... what happens? What occurs when his power comes to an end? Well, power vacuum. You step in. Right. So that's what's in it for you. Yeah. You're Why higher in the ranking? Well, it's just the natural order of things. I, I'm so suspicious the whole of strip, right? mm. Dante. Maybe there's a bit being of a strip. Two voices. Two voices. Hold on. What? What's up? Sorry. What? She was going first. Go ahead. Say your thing. Dante is trying to get security from the Don's family. Why are you so open talking in front of Dante if Dante needs help from the Don? We're offering help to the Don. He's scared right now. He's suspicious right now. My family has a lot more protection than he does right now. Listen, things have changed. You go back and you talk to the family. Tell them what's happening. You tell them you're working for me now. Oh. So, you were seeking protection from the Don originally? Your family? I think she was providing protection. She was providing her. protection. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. You just got it on my paper. Why'd you do that? Oh. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Um, okay, so I had that wrong. So your family was providing protection to the dog. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense now. Okay. The weasel in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So All right. Then so that would make sense. Okay, so if your family is providing protection to the dog, now you're going to work for her. Just so know, if it wasn't for those Sabat fuckers... None of our kind would be hunted as bad as we are now. Fair enough. So, basically, long story short, Don dies, you move up the chain. And you benefit too. That's what I was getting to. Mm -hmm. How do we benefit exactly? Club. Sure, you guys will have... You guys will have free reign of this club to feed wherever you want. No, we want our own club. Oh, want your own club. Well, I will have control of the strip. I was going to say, if you have control of the strip, if, uh, if he controls the strip and you take him out, we could have How about this? a portion of the strip. My sister and I have plans to franchise Club Succubus and other parts of Los Angeles. See what I'm getting at? Nice. L.A. Tour. Stigmata, yes, what? <laughs> See you thinking. And I look you, at Dante you sneaky again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all, I, I look at Dante too. And I'm like, so, you're with us then. And Do we have to worry about you going back to the Dawn and letting him know what you heard tonight. We have no loyalties to the Dawn. But do you have loyalties to her or us? I've known Therese longer than the Don. We need some sort of... She smiles. ...show of loyalty to us. We need to be able to trust you. Here's this brand. Uh, 
wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and so what can you show us that will show that you're not going to go get us killed from the dawn tonight, tomorrow? Yeah, what's your family's plan? Spit it out. Yeah, we need we need some sort of... Reassurance. Thank you, that's the word I'm looking some for. Some securities. Yeah. <laughs> from you. What can I give you to reassure you? Well, for one, why did you take that hand? What is this ritual you're talking about? Because we might be one of part of that. Yeah, well, of <laughs> yeah they're witches. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Who are you really? So one of the rituals in my family is I can make a homunculus with a body part, and I can send it as my little spy, basically, to collect information for me. Oh, I love I think that what little Charlie trick. Wants to know is, does it have to be a hand? Why you want it to be a penis? So what Charlie wants. To be. <laughs> <laughs> it would work on any body part. Still, oh, will you bite it if it comes to life? <laughs> Hilarious. Maybe I would. <laughs> what I need for this ritual is urine and feces, and you look like the type. <laughs> I got plenty of that. I mean, I don't make it anymore, but I'm caked with it. <laughs> You're full of it. Yeah. So. So, and in walks Christian. Oh, fuck. Yes, hi, Christian. <laughs> He like nods to you and nods to you. Uh oh, Mr. Sirius is here. And uh Does he hear me say, Oh fuck, hi Christian? Did he hear the old fuck part? Yeah, he heard it, but he just ignores it. Doesn't I giggle. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> used to hearing that from you. And then I just giggle. Because <laughs> whenever you see him it's not good news, so he's he's used to Oh, can you hear me so well? Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna turn the mic a little bit okay, like cool. this. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's never good news when you're around Christian. Sorry. Like Oh, then I, I guess you don't want to see Greta and Stella, Ella right now? You're part of this bullshit. Yes, I do want to see her. So well, where do you fit in the mix, Christian? He's Trace's little plaything. Well, I've been helping them develop their thin blood alchemy skills. As you're talking shit about us. He's like, what? what? You guys brainwashed them. We're not stupid. No, we're educating them. Re-educating them. Are they still mad at us? Why don't you guys go talk to them? Fine. Thank you, Christian. Look, Lude. Do you guys want to go? I give him a dirty look, too. <laughs> <laughs> he just stare him as, as I leave. <laughs> you guys want to take a little break? I go to the bathroom. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. let's do it. I can write a little note. Let me, uh... Do 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 do. Off. What did we see last time? Uh, we are going to talk to Lady Greta and Ella. Okay. So... Right now, Christian's going to go check on Lady Greta and, and Ellen <laughs> see where if they're at exactly, if they're ready for you guys. So, just follow me. We will go check on them. So, do we follow? I follow. All right. He walks down the hallway. And you guys walk for, like, you know, you pass, like, maybe three doors. And then he, like, puts his hand up to stop. Okay, stop. Okay. So, he opens up the door, closes it, and you guys are just waiting out there by yourselves for a second. And then... And I roll my eyes really hard at her, and I'm like, fucking Christian. Yeah, I wonder what this is going to be like. Mm -hmm. what, okay. What's going to be behind door number one? Yeah, and how pissed off they are, and how re-educated they are on, about us. Do you want We're gonna Charlie have to and I here? Brace ourselves. Huh? Just gonna have to brace ourselves. They're by themselves. Oh, that's what I was, I guess you didn't clarify. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, he, he just wanted them to uh, follow him. That right. So we're, we're just back there. Yeah, yeah. Correct. So after about like maybe 45 seconds, he walks out and he goes, uh, they're right in the middle of their studies and they can't break their concentration. So. What studies? Come back tomorrow. Where are you teaching you them? They're going to be very useful to us and to you. Well, they were pretty pissed off when you made us brand them. 
you may be happy about their new disposition. Oh, so you turned them into zombies. Would you be happy with that? No. No. Then you wouldn't be happy with that disposition. You might be happy with their new disposition. Whatever, Christian. Fine. Thank you. Yeah, it, your, your vagueness is uh, not cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't satisfy you. You are not sorry. You're never sorry. You, you're amused. Oh, well. And um, he goes, come back in a few days. You just said come back tomorrow. Well, yeah, is it tomorrow or a few days? How about this? I'll let you know when. Bye. Thank you. So. So they come back out to where we're at? Yeah. I'm they, like, ah, oh, thin bloods, huh? Well, that was a waste of time. They're just going to ignore me. So. We didn't see him. Therese just but. goes, guys, it seems like you've, you've had a long fucking night. A very eventful night with Stiletto here and and the dawn. Why don't you just go back to your, your haven for a bit and chill out. Okay? Take a rest. Take a load off. Okay. It is getting close to uh, dawn. <laughs> <laughs> and the dawn appears and states you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I start laughing because it's just like, it's getting close to dawn. The dawn is here. <laughs> So yeah, you guys. So we get the driver. Get ride, yeah, we go yeah. back to the haven. Yeah. Yep. Go back to the haven, and uh, there you are. You guys are uh, going to sleep. You're going to sleep. So right. honk shoo, honk shoo. The sun is rising, guys. You gotta go to bed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sleeping well, night time for a little what, vampire. When we get back, Andy, yeah. before going to sleep. Yes. Um, oh wait, we were supposed to get weapons. Oh yes, you're right. The oh, armor. Right. <laughs> so you guys go back into the office. So we didn't go to Haven yet. Yeah, because well, when we leave, um, when we leave Christian, we find them and they're scoping out like weapons. We okay. join them. Okay. We all get weapons. Yeah, yeah. In the armor. Back to the Haven. Yeah. So, um, so accompanying you to the uh, the room is um, is a. Uh, Vladimir. To the weapons room. Excellent. Uh, follow me for some pokey pokey shooty shooty. Yeah. <laughs> See what you got. And then he he leads you to a room and uh, it's it looks like a library. He goes over to one of the books and pulls it back. And he goes, get ready for the ride. And then you all stand on like in front of the bookshelf, and it turns whoop, and it turns into like an armory. Nice, nice, yay! Well, what are we looking at? I'm what kind of weapons? We yeah. can it's just flash. about everything you could imagine: pistols, shotguns, right on, machine right guns. On. So, if I'm using like a, like a like a baseball bat type of like a club or something, what yeah, like, what uh, skill is that? Like uh, that that would be if you're using like a melee. That's melee, melee okay. dexterity. Is there any sort of magical weapons here? Like, Not so much in, in the in the way of magic. Okay, because I books. have scorpions touch, and I was just seeing. If I mean, was, yeah, there's knives there. Well, knives that maybe would do extra damage if I added scorpions touch to them. It's just like basic, I think that's like any yeah, it's just basic, basic like human type weapons. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they'll fuck people. They'll fuck vampires up. You know. Well, here's what I want to know: Is silver, there a silver bladed. Pistol? Sure. Huh? What is there? A Ralphus pistol. What's that? That is one of the uh, incendiary round pistols. Oh, no, there's nothing like that. No. <laughs> is there a crossbow in there? There is crossbows, yes. I want it. Okay. He goes, here you go. I'm just going to take a badass looking like dagger. So I just take like... So wait, wait. He says, no, no, I have to give it to you. And he like grabs it. <laughs> And like as he's going to hand it to you, he like Such a he like he just he, as you're going to grab it, he just like drops it, let's drop to the floor. Okay. Oh, it slipped. I want a couple of those. <laughs> hmm? I want a couple of those. And then he uh, goes. He's my sire, by the way. He goes and gets two more daggers, and he like he drops them on the floor. Oh, they slipped again. Thanks, Vlad. Hmm. So I get three, three daggers. Three daggers. I want a medieval morning star. 
like the spiked ball on a stick. There's nothing like that. These are more modern weapons. All right, then. Uh, can I get a spiked bat? There's like, yeah, spiked bat, sure. Like batons with nubbies on them, sure. There's retractable batons, like the... You know, like, yeah, like the case you that. I want, I want like a, a baseball bat with big fucking long nails sticking out of it. Is there anything oh, like no, that? There, it's it's more more like oh more fire. like yeah, fucking it's, edgy. It's, it's not street more stuff. Well, more fuck. Jones melee weapons. Yeah, uh, you can always well, upgrade it. What if you kind want to put of an establishment? Well, then I can just get a fucking baseball here. bat. Then. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, um, how about uh, how about like a, a kukri knife? Sure. All right. It's a kukri Excellent. knife. It's like a fucking like half sword thing, but it's got a big bend in it. Oh, yeah. gotcha. What about so a sawed-off on. shotgun? We have those. And so he goes, he gets your uh, your I knife, and he like Vladimir. grabs it, and he just like drops it. Who knife? Who oh, pick it up. No. Who come here knife? And this, K-U-K-R-I. The sawed-off, he goes, he grabs it, and Thanks, he's about to drop it, and he goes, mm -mm, not this one. He hands it to you. Right, the sword is dropping off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Saw it off shotgun. Yeah. There goes your boom. Yeah, it looks like stick. this. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Thanks. I think that's like, uh, what's her name used it in uh, Resident Evil? And he already nice. knows what I like, so he hands me a couple of daggers. He goes, Shop Smart. Shop S Smart. <laughs> Have you seen that one? Oh, I love Evil Dead. You're so stupid. That's Army of Darkness. <laughs> but that's the that's the franchise. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he actually do. He actually do. Yep. I'm actually wrong type. Oh, yeah, he's um, actually. I was a nerd. He's a cinephile <laughs> on top of it. Yeah. He's been around a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's seen me every fucking horror film. All right. <laughs> Yeah, he, he jerks off to Aftermath. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm a collector. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So then we go, then we <laughs> call car. All and... things macabre. <laughs> All right. So, oh, wait, do they have uh, brass knuckles? Yeah, he, he already knows what I like, so he gives me some really sharp, like a couple of, a couple of daggers. He finds some daggers. Good. He goes, there's a bit dull. You have to sharpen them. He hands them to you. Do they have like a <laughs> dagger belt? Meh. <laughs> he goes and looks for you, and here's a fucking belt for you. Can I get a survival yeah, Can I get, can I I get like a survival knife and I too? Just strap it in. He goes, Elvira wants for this. <laughs> can I get a survival knife? Yeah, it's got like those. Um, it's like brass knuckles with a fucking knife on the end of it. Yeah, it's Ooh. like that, and then also all, like one side's like. Bladed, the other end has like the serrated sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So once it enters and pulls it, yes, yeah. yeah. Yep, you got right it. Right on. Hell yeah. I got a kukri knife. You know Fine. I, I will sharpen that I'll, for you. I'll take some handcuffs. You can borrow mine. <laughs> you and Stiletto yeah, are getting down like, tonight. I'll just take regular breasts. Or maybe you in Stigmata. Wouldn't that be enjoyable for you? You'd like to see that, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, we're, we're going back to the game. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys have weapons. Yes. Let's go. No, uh, this is narrator talking. No vests of any sort. Oh, that was I an was, option? I was going to oh, say. It's like just it's large it's an ars arsenal. It's an arsenal, yeah. Yeah, can I get a flak jacket? Um, let's see what they got. Exactly. Um, so, uh, just so you know, like, um, like a, a crossbow will do, like, plus two damage. So if you want to write that down. Uh, a shotgun mm. will do, like, plus three damage. Um, knives, um, light piercing. I think those are, like, plus two as well. And does knives. It have a, does it have a, a brass knuckles as well? You want brass knife? The kukri yeah. knife is more of a sword, so um, I don't know what the sword yeah, stats are. Yeah, it should be plus two. Okay. Plus two for that. If you want brass knuckles, that's plus one. Nice. Um, uh, and if, like, what they do have is, like, ballistic cloth and, like, 
reinforced clothing. I want reinforced. Mm. The black jacket that. would be basically reinforced clothing. Yeah, it's, and that's like two armor. It's, it's not good. quite a plate It'll carrier. It'll two damage. So I want some sort of like leather. You want like a coat? Like, yeah. You're like, in luck. We have something just like that. Okay, so a leather and jacket. Then it, then it looks like a blade jacket. Do you have right. any reinforced business suits? It's a it's a David Byrne suit. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Over yellow. It's from the mass. <laughs> and then he goes to look. And he goes, you're just in luck. And it's like a Pee Wee Herman suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. What about something in Bow my size? Bow tie included. I'll take it to the GFR. What about something in my size? Uh, he goes and like sizes you up. Ruffles you. He's a tailor also. <laughs> he goes, here you Pulls go, big boy. Tea. And he gives you what looks like a, a leather face apron. Oh, shit. All right. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you get anything? Yeah, what did I get? What do you want? Yeah, I'll take one of those uh, you want a jacket. jackets. <laughs> and he has another uh, another blade jacket. And those are all like uh, plus two. Does it come with a cut spot? Not plus two, like minus two, right? It's another blade jacket. Minus two, right? Uh, blade minus two, right? Like, well, it'll be, yeah, just right two. It's not plus two, but it's just two. So it'll like negate two damage. Okay. What did Charlie get? <laughs> I got a flak jacket. It's like basically it looks pretty metal. It looks, yeah. It's like something uh Rompstein would wear. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> kind of like a straight jacket, yeah. but um black. But black. Yeah. <laughs> it's very uh, fashionable within this punk this rock scene. Yeah, uh, punk rock. Oh, so I, I get something fashionable, I get a pink. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you corporate type. Corporate. <laughs> <laughs> He's old, doesn't know the difference. Mm. <laughs> Do you have any uh, masks or helmets? Uh, yeah. What do you want? Something that'll go nicely with a leather face, uh, <laughs> leather face frock. Smock. Yeah. It won't do any like um, won't necessarily take away any damage. It's just like, just look cool. Yeah. Okay. Sure. What, we, what does he got? It, it looks like uh. Like hockey mask, like a Jason hockey mask sort of thing. Um, also, uh, what are those guys from uh, that that one horror film, um, The Purge? They go all, all the X's on the eyes. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like I'm just gonna write down. Or like the army guys. of two guys from that game. And he's ooh, we got this, and he throws you a scream mask. Can I get a balaclava? I'll take the purge mask. <laughs> okay. huh? Can I just get a balaclava? You know, fucking. And we're not mask. in a Mediterranean restaurant. I just, I just want free stuff at this point. This is, what do you think this is, Compton? <laughs> Can we get some grenades? <laughs> <laughs> Thermonuclear device. Do you have any magic grenades? <laughs> and then he goes and like a door and goes, kapooey, and he like throws one to you. See if you catch it. I catch it. Okay, you catch it. It's a fart grenade. So I'll get one grenade. I <laughs> only get one grenade. Stink. Uh, you get three. Okay. Can I? Can, it's a box. It's a box grenade. Can I get a? Can I get a flashbang? Sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, they're decked out. Fuck! I had no idea it was gonna be like that. Hey, you, you got the boots? My boots are fucking. Uh, there's like holes in the. You've toes. had enough. Don't be Okay, greedy. fine, fine, fine. fine. <laughs> Listen, Where's Therese your owns us. Where's your wardrobe office? He goes. Once you've proved yourselves, you could have more. Okay. Fair enough. Go so shoot. Magical. Out of here. And I, I like shove the flashbang down the front of my pants. Go ninety nine. <laughs> Trying Tax to make yourself out. look That's bigger, Charlie. New, yeah. new song. Not that I need to. Flash bang. Yeah. <laughs> hey, check it out. Pipe bomb. <laughs> okay, so you guys go back to your haven. And sleep, yeah. right? Sleep? Yeah. So, yeah, you guys go back to your haven, and you're, you haven't been summoned the next day, or there's no notes from any ravens. You guys want to do anything in your... Haven, you want to do any business dealings? I mean, what would your characters do during the daytime? 
Well, we're still, I mean, Stigmata and I have to run the business, so right. we're still dealing with our um, day-to-day. She's got the shop and the I pop have carry. the... <clears throat> yeah, I'm fucking... Just logistics of that going on. I'm just hanging out. I'm writing writing music. I got to make some new songs because, uh, you know, I'm now the house band. Yeah, the pressure's on. Yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put... I'm going to text the Coterie at some point. Just uh, We should have a Coterie meeting a little bit later after we've done our business. Mm-hmm. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm also maintaining my business, doing the thing, following up with uh, Dick Bush. Any, mm-hmm. any updates? Hey, what's up, man? Dick. I hardly know you. No, um, I was like, Dick, uh, is there any update on Klaus Slausen? We haven't found shit on him, man. <laughs> I'll give you Yeah, as soon as I find anything, I'll let you know. And uh, let me know, like I told you before, if you need anything from me to help facilitate that, let me know. I appreciate your help. All right, thanks. Now, did you hit up Dick about um, Ronnie, too? I didn't. I, I don't remember if I... No, you did get a license plate and you right, right. your guys. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that'll be something I can follow up in with uh, my actual people. So while I'm doing my business of driving around the tow truck and when I'm back at the HQ and having my guys around with the tow truck, I will personally be looking up um, the license plate now that I'm back in the, the office. Okay. Yeah. And when you look it up, um, it says it's a Harley Davidson Sportster. That's the end of the year is 2015. And it belongs to a, a Ronnie North. And I, I, you would assume that's Ronnie Ripper's real name. Yeah. Right. Ronnie North. And the last known address was at a Petra Dawson's. What? Is it Harley what? Sportster. Petra. Petra. Your touchstone. Great. Yeah. So, oh, I think so, uh, Petra Dawson's. So I, I would know that the address that it lists there is it's, it's the address of Petra yeah, Dawson. Yeah, yeah. So. The residence of a Petra Dawson. Right. And, uh, okay, cool. Last one address, yeah. And that's cool. Ronnie North. And um, that's great. So what I'm going to do is when we have our coterie meeting, I will relay that. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, everyone make a rouse check, too. Yay. I hunger. Pass. Failure. Pass. Pass. You're, you're pass. pass. Okay. Mm-hmm. So who's hungry? Um, I'm me. Um, you? Hungry. Okay. I got two hunger. All right. Still not bad. Cool. So, uh, yeah, a few days pass. Un- uneventful. Not much happens. Um, oh, wait. I, we got to have our little coterie meeting, right? Oh, sure. If you want to do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it can happen at any time, really. Uh, if you guys want to discuss, like, the going on of what's happening. And what's yeah, best. let's let's talk out. about all the shit that just happened. Exactly. So I'm gonna gather. Uh, so let's gather in like our kind of uh, study, shall we say? So. And you guys obviously aren't, aren't gonna try to hit up uh, Dante yet because well, you don't quite you don't fully well, trust her. Left huh? with us at the same time. Well, she went back you... to her her haunted Houdini mansion. He. Mm. No, he did. Yeah. He did. My bad. Now. Oh, I guess it's <laughs> I'll, I'll, in the text before the meeting. Do we want to uh, include Dante in this meeting? No. Right. <laughs> Not so, yet, at least. I'm just hanging out. We can we can right 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 in at some point. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing Giovanni ghost shit. Yeah. And reanimating a hand. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm figuring out how to collect the. Don't shit worry. We got that. we got Dante on the hand job. We've got this. <laughs> <and that. laughs> so. I'm going to kind of gather us together and I'm going to say, look, I've told security to be on the lookout for both Ronnie and also Klaus Slauson to make sure yeah, no one of their description, as far as we can tell, gets onto the property. Uh, so they're on kind of high alert for that. Right on, right on. Uh, additionally, I have some information for you. Ooh, for me? Ronnie Ripper is also known as Ronnie North. Ronnie North? Fucking Ronnie North? That's apparently his real name based on the license and registration. 
Um, his last known address, and I'm going to just read the address out. Yeah, exactly. Which you would probably know as yeah. that person's address, but this is the last known address. Huh. That's interesting. <clears throat> so, Why is that interesting? Why is that interesting? He seems to be registered under the name of uh, Petra Dawson. Uh, Petra is an old friend of mine. I don't know why she would be associating with Ronnie. Unless it's against her will. Just remember, it's the last known address. Exactly. So I don't know if it's still living there. But that is mm. that is the last known. Um, so would, would you want to follow up on that? Yeah, Definitely. Uh, as soon as possible, actually. Well, I'll get to Kuna, and we could go out there. Take a look around. Okay, yeah. do we... Uh, before we do that, since we're all here, um, we're... We're gonna totally betray the Don, right? We're going with Therese on this one? I think we're in a unique position. I think we need to see how it, it plays, plays out. Well, obviously, we, we, but I mean, we're all leaning towards us owning uh, a club, right? Because I'm not sure that, I mean, we can talk to the Don next time we see him. But right now, Therese is offering a lot more than the Don is. I I just need know. it spelled out very specifically for so me so that I don't fuck it up. So you don't kick a door down yes, yeah, and, and be like, hey, Don, we're going to... This is all Double the information here. that yeah. I got from her. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking sh shit out everything that happened. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'm not, I'll, Every I'm, time. I'll, I'll keep my mouth Wait, shut is next that time. what happened before I showed up? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Ugh. Somebody needs to learn to not let me go in first. Somebody <laughs> needs to learn to keep their fucking mouth shut. <laughs> I can't help it sometimes. Well, you know, well, just don't talk. I got the gift of gab. The truth is, the, sometimes gifts can be And the curse of blab. Yeah. You walk in and you fucking stake out the situation. You don't just give all your information away at once. I don't know. Dude. Sometimes it's beneficial to blow your load right away. Every fucking time? <laughs> no one has It's not every that time, ever. okay? <laughs> Literally no person <laughs> It works out well for me. I don't think Dude. it really does, though. Look. Yeah, the point, whatever. It actually, in this case, kind of worked out for us. Mm -hmm. Therese it wasn't if us. we were going to give the information or not. We didn't even have a chance to decide what we were going to do. Exactly. No, I, no, I had it, it all it. planned no, out. No, 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 I get it. I'm saying it's that's in the past now. No, it's yeah, not. It's in the past. that happens every Water fucking under the time. Bridge. I think that Tupum is right. When we're in a unique position right now, uh, we both, they both believe that we're rooting for them. Nobody knows. No, that's great. Nobody knows I that we're double crossing that. either one of them. They yeah, I didn't, I didn't fucking walk in and tell Therese, hey, the Don wants us to spy on you for him. It I kept that part to myself. Honestly, way. I'm very surprised that you didn't fucking say Oh, that. I'm not a, a Look, simpleton. All right, all right. Don't get ahead of yourself. All of you guys remember one thing. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, fuck. Ring, ring, ring. Not answering it. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Who's Who the phone? What could that be? It's your phone. iPhone? Two phones, yeah. Oh, I'll take a look at it. Well, it's uh, your supervisor down below at the tow yard. All right, give me a minute, guys. No more kindred talk. Hello? Hey, uh, boss, there's something very serious that we found. And you have to come look at it. What's going on? I don't know how to say it, especially over the phone. Okay. I'll be right down. Please, fast. And this, and do I recognize this as being the voice of this? Oh, yeah. It, 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 Just want to make sure it's not something you No, it's, it's him. All right. Do we hear it? Because we have heightened hearing. Well, I mean, did you turn on your heightened hearing? I wanted to try it over here. Uh, I'm just going to say. No, just curious. Something, uh, something's up at the security gate. I'm going to go take a look. Yeah, you know it was Miguel. Okay. I'm going to take a look. If anything's, you know if anything's wrong, I'm going to haul it. And I'm going to bounce out. I'll say, keep talking about this. I wonder what that was all about. Me too. And I'm going to bounce. So you're going to go down? Yeah. 
you guys want to keep talking amongst yourselves, or... I think you guys need to go a little bit easy on me. No. No. <laughs> uh, look who I'm talking to, me. I don't even know why I'm trying. <laughs> well, quit acting like... Let's just recognize that I'm not the only fuck up here, okay? <laughs> Remember how our last adventure ended? Calm down, Stiletto. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you are having tears of fucking sorrow for fucking us turning people vampires. That's okay. what the fuck up was Let's about. Let's get back. This well, no, I mean, the fuck up is that here. you, like, broke the masquerade and that okay. uh, they okay. got very angry at us. And now we owe them another boon. No, we already did that fucking boon. Well, we were made to owe a boon. And now we have two people owing us a boon. So we need to play our cards right. And you we need to shut the fuck up. A fool. We need to <laughs> <laughs> We need to figure out the situation and play our cards right. All right, now I just like raise my eyebrows and roll my eyes and kick my feet up on the desk. Do you flop out your dick? In defiance? <laughs> <laughs> I scratch my nuts in defiance and I just up. and I fart. Like a nasty old blood fart. <laughs> Oh, no. Do you walk away or you stay there? No, I stay there and just look at him. <laughs> He's looking at you. In yeah, defiance. We're looking at him. In indignantly. <laughs> with, with the fart bubble in his ass. <laughs> like, really, dude? Really? That's, that's how you fucking come back as fucking... You guys that's are, your comeback? You guys are arguing bubble. blah, 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 and blah. now we cut to Tukum. Right, he's uh heading down. He's got a pistol in his jacket. Yeah, yeah. and uh, upon arriving, like as you, you guys have like um, it's like really nice sort of like trailer home sort of thing, but that's your office mm -hmm. outside. And when you walk in there, Miguel, oh yeah, I, I, before you're walking in, you notice there's like you know a white van that's on the side of your trailer, kind of kind of just parked there. Is it inside the security gate or outside? It's outside the security gate. So no, no, it's it's inside. Like you're inside your security gate. You're inside your yard. Got it. Yeah, you're inside your yard, and you're going down to the office. Right. So I see the white van. Yeah, and then you go into the office, and then Miguel's like, "Uh, boss, um, we just brought an, an abandoned car in, and uh, there's, I, I don't know how to say this." Uh, I just need to show you. All right, let's look. So he leads you to the van, and he says, you know how you have guys that are out everywhere, and they're just looking for cars that might be abandoned, taking down license plates? Yeah. This one had no license plate, so we just brought it here. And it was part... In front of this nightclub, and the nightclub he tells you about is the same nightclub you guys are at with the Don. Oh, so not Succubus, but the the one that he's going to open? Yep. Well, the one that was where you saw the massacre. massacre. Yeah. And so he doesn't know that. I was like, have you opened the van yet? Yes. Just look for yourself. Okay, I'm going to tell him to go back inside. And so he... Or at least to stand by the door. He does. Uh, okay, I'm going to open it up. So opening the back is... There's three dead bodies wearing battle fatigue. And they're armed with, like, stakes and thermal goggles. They have Kevlar vests and two compound... There's, like, two compound crossbows in there as well. Uh, there's two females and one male... And their throats are completely ripped out. And they had it coming. And you notice, you start inspecting the bodies, yep. and you notice on the wrists they have the same tattoos as one of the bodies that had. You know, you recognize right. it. It's like that weird. What's it called? Thing. Mark so, of Leo Society. Society Leopold. Leopold. Yeah. So first thing I do is I tell uh, I tell my guys. We're closing down the office for tonight. And uh, I'm going to tell him. He goes, okay, yeah, at first I thought to call the police, but 
I knew you should have final say. Uh, that's how we should handle this. Don't don't call the cops. No, we're gonna call the cops. We're gonna call the cops. Yes, I need you to send everyone home. We don't. I don't want anyone uh, else to see the shit. Okay, I'm the only one who knows about it. Okay, so just send them home. Send, I mean, just if they're still uh, still out picking up, tell them they can still pick up. But anyone else who's gonna be in here, just let. If anyone comes uh, wants to pick up their car, let them know it's gonna have to be tomorrow. Okay, you got it, boss. Uh, I'm going to tell him. And then once he leaves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the security camera and I'm going to... He's done this a thousand times at this point. He's going to loop the security footage <clears throat> so that it only shows like an hour before this van showed up. Mm -hmm. Just on a loop. Okay. An hour. Okay. And now I'm going to return to cover. You don't want to search the bodies or anything? Well, I thought you were saying I, that I just did search the bodies. Well, you, that's upon, like, it, it, initial... I'm not going to do it further because I'm going to show up all bloody and... Well, only their necks, their throats are... No, he, he's going to search, but I'm going to search with... I'm going to Okay, cool. All right, cool. So, <clears throat> if you want to cut back to them and then let me know when I would... You guys are still bitching out Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> and I would really appreciate it if everybody stopped calling me Stinky. <laughs> stinky Stiletto. Take a shower. Stinky Stiletto. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking take a shower. Wash your hair. Why don't you give me some of your uh, delicious soaps that you gave uh, Thana over here when she got sprayed with the fart spray? Give me some money and I'll fucking give you some. All right. How much? 50 bucks. All right, you got it. There you go. We make the transaction or just give him it. Okay. You, you sell him your <laughs> mystical soap Problem for solved. 50 bucks. Bath yeah, <laughs> don't have to hear that shit anymore. I can't be stinking as a it's Toreador. A, it's a baffle me bar of soap. That's what you give him. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm gonna... But use it daily, dude. Okay, all right. Fair enough. I'm a rock star <laughs> and, now. I guess I got to In walks Tukum. <laughs> all right, so... God damn it. <laughs> My guys picked up the Hunter fan. I'm noting stinky stiletto. <laughs> <laughs> no longer. I've made a note. Um, Formerly known as. My guys picked up the fucking Hunter van from, uh, from the nightclub we were at last a couple nights ago. So. Well, more corpses. So we got now, we got a fucking dump it. Were they in the same state as the rest of the bodies at the club? Just about as bad. Not, you know what? Actually, a little bit less bad. But uh, here, I didn't even I didn't comb through them yet. But I sent all the guys home who were uh, who were working. I don't want them to see this. And I told them we're going to call the cops. Can't um, you, did you? We're right? not actually calling the cops. No. Yeah, oh, did, no, of course. And then not. did you okay. fucking like no make cops. him forget? I don't what do you make him forget. What are you talking about? What, what, who has that? Somebody Can you trust that? this guy? Cloud memory. Cloud memory. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's one of our... He's, he's the manager. He's seen some... Is he still around. here? Um, well, I, 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 said, Just, you know, I just, to just so you know, you, you know that Miguel is in on all of his shady dealings. Okay. And he's to be trusted. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, he's not quite a ghoul, but... He doesn't know about Kindred. Yeah. But he knows there's some shady shit. But I will He's say, a down uh, bitch. You know what? You know this is, this is a good point. Um, Donna, if you want to give him the old whammy, yeah, he may, it may still be close enough. I the think whammy that would hammy, be huh? smart if it's a Hunter's fan. We don't want yeah. nobody knowing about that, even if you, we can trust him. So as Miguel would be cleaning up his stuff and getting ready to actually leave, Andy, mm -hmm. we'll have him. Uh, I, I need you to have talk a little chit chat with. Yeah, well, as we're walking down to the yard, I pass by him and I just kind of whisper in his ear. He goes, Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, how's it going, Miguel? Oh, it's good. I'm just here to see, to see my friend. Everything's okay? Oh, everything's great. I'm just coming down to talk to Tuco. Simone. What's that? Simone. What? Simone. Simone means like it's Spanish for like oh good like yeah yeah yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. 
Sure, Simon. Simone. Simon. Yeah, they they, they say like okay. Simone. Like yes, yeah, okay. Simon Gallup rules. And then Absolutely. A. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So okay. I use my cloud memory on him. Uh, I just I whisper in his ear. In mid sentence, he goes blank. All right. Nice to see you, Miguel. Take care. Where did you come from? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sneak up behind you. Uh, ah, I, I need some sleep. Yeah, you work hard, Miguel. Because I'm here to see you come. Oh, Simone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Simone. Simone, go get some sleep. No. And then, so... <laughs> and then so he goes back into the office. He doesn't remember shit. <clears throat> so I'll have pulled the van aside, like basically into our parking lot. Um, here she is, and I'm going to open up the back. And we're all there, right? Uh, yes, and I'm assuming also that we don't have anyone in for business, like any of your customers and things like that at this point. Yeah, the, the store's closed because we were chewing uh, stiletto out. Stiletto out. So she closed the store. She chewing. went in. She went in and uh, got her um, the Baphomet soap and closed the store out. <laughs> <laughs> the Baphomet bar. Baphomet so, bar. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, I haven't I haven't even touched these guys yet, so feel free to look over them, take their rings, whatever you, whatever you guys Yeah, do. we search oh, yeah, 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 yeah. the bodies. I, I, yeah, I show up and I'm like in a towel Who and I don't searches stink. first? <laughs> did, you, did you catch that, Andy? What? I said I show up. After like these two do, uh -huh. and I'm in a towel, obviously just showered, and I do not smell bad. All right, you so notice so so on the, noted. Yeah. the so presence of stiletto so in, 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 in. Yeah, he's in a sh uh, shower towel and yeah. doesn't stink, and his hair is down. And you see the outline. Yeah, you see of the outline penis. of his. <laughs> and it's small. <laughs> it's not small. <laughs> It's not yeah, roll. small. <laughs> roll one d ten. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's roll. Yeah, yeah. You have to roll a wits plus awareness difficulty ten to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who searches for uh, Sigmata? Yes, I want to go in and like I just like literally walk in because she was clouding memory, so I was okay, just going in. Directly. When you go through the guy's pockets, you find a piece of paper. Ooh. Crinkle it real loud. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to uncrinkle this for you. And I read it in my head first. <laughs> you slow while reader? What's it say? It's yeah. kind of hard when this light. <laughs> As a, while she's reading, and while she's ruffling around in there, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to turn to Anna, <laughs> and I'm going to say, Look, I, I've got the vehicle compactor. I can crush this van at the, to nothing. Huh. Um, but we may want to dispose okay. of these bodies separately or deliver them. I don't know if we want to hand them over to, to Reese. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Uh, what's the note some, say? Yeah, what's the note say? Let's see if that... Stakeout meeting. Decision. Stakeout meeting point until the arrival of the twins. Revival, retrieval of the fragment is of the utmost importance. Do not engage blank bodies. Un unity in Christ. Fragment, huh? That sounds right up our alley. And they're after the, the twins, Jeanette and Therese. They were. They were. Well, who's it not, the note from? It is from Shit Out of Luck and... <laughs> S-O-L. Uh, yeah. Shit out of luck. Is that the same symbol? S-O-L. And you guys notice the symbol has been and tattooed. This symbol. And all the different hunters. Okay. S-O-L. And you guys recognize... Society Leopold. Yeah, Society yeah. Leopold. And then what's the other symbol? And it's the... It's their symbol. Actual the actual... Yeah. The, the, the ruin. The ruin. Their um, sigil. Yeah. Sigil. So what does the note and that say was again? In the, that was in the pocket of one of the, the that guy, was in the, the pocket mouth. of one of the guys. They were staking out Therese and Jeanette is my take on that. And that Wait, she no, has something. It. What's it say? Stake out. Well, it says 
stakeout meeting point until the arrival of the twins. I would call that arrival. Well, does that mean they're waiting for the twins? They're waiting for the twins? Or are they waiting well, for the twins to talk? From what you guys know, there's no twins. Jeanette. Well, Jeanette and, yeah, they're, they're twins, but why would they wait for the twins? Exactly. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. That seems odd. Are they, are they the same twins? Well, what about the two guys we, uh, what about the two guys that work for the Samba? Were they twins? I don't think they're they twins. They're one of them had hair and one of them didn't. One was twins. taller, one was shorter. Yeah, the, the only twins, twins we know are Jeanette and Therese. Well, I was thinking if the twins were Jeanette and Therese, if this was them basically double-crossing her. So on one hand, she thinks she sent them to go deal with this thing. And then suddenly, when she shows up to, to uh, you know, give them more information or whatever, they, they blast her. That's they want to kill two wondering. vampires with one stake. But That's it says, what I retrieval thinking. of the fragment is of the utmost importance. Do not engage blink bodies. What fragment? Is that what he was trying to, Don, the Don was trying to, because he was getting the package. Yeah, that we didn't he know never, what was in the package. And he never. And you you remember from when Bruno went down to talk to the person who, the, the person that was uh, nailed to the stage, he pulled something out of his jacket, his coat pocket, and it was like a, a like a, a pouch. And he looked at it and he showed the dawn, he waved it to him. He was the that. nailed person also a society Leopold guy? It didn't appear so. Oh, so they didn't have the tattoo? Were they kindred? No. Mm. So I'm going to hand this back to you. And I would like to make a roll of some kind in. Mm -hmm. Or hold it up. Uh, to think sure about so here. the gang girl have told stories. They're storytellers. Uh, they go when they meet around with other gang girls. They tell like, yeah. tell about things. I Can I roll something of your choice that would allow me to maybe get an idea of what a fragment <clears throat> could be in um, sort of vampire lore? Well, sure. I would say. Uh... Intelligence plus a cult. Oh, great. So I have really high I have int, but I do not have a cult, so it's going to be a chance roll. Okay. And then I want to do see if I can get one anything. success. No, you, you don't. Nothing comes to mind. Mm. You, you you can't ascertain like why it would be so important. What's up? Can I do intelligence plus a cult? Yeah, sure. You want to ask them if what they might think about it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to say, if, if, maybe Teresa is lying to us. Yeah. About, you think? There's a good chance of well, that. Maybe she is lying to us about why she sent the hunters. She claimed she was sending the hunters to kill the Don. Yeah, we have no idea. That's what I'm saying. We can't trust Teresa and we can't trust the Don. We can't trust anybody. No. Well, they, they, we have they, to trust not... that we trust no one. Except yeah, each other. Well, the note did say, do not engage blank bodies. Which are kindred. Yeah. Or, right. So it means they, they didn't want to attack whoever was coming. Yeah. The twins. Right. So are the, are the, um, the Society of Leopold, are they somehow working well, we with know. Jeanette? She said she, she sent, sent them with her intel. She had right. intel. Yeah. She can't tell us the intel. No. Is this is, the does she want she, has? she wants the fragment? She wants whatever fragment this is. Spoke. She wants whatever the Don got. Stake out the meeting point until the arrival of the twins. But more importantly, she's working with fucking vampire hunters. Potentially. Well, sometimes them. kind of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I understand that part of it. I mean, you should too. Stake out the meeting point. But it definitely so tries to have a guard dog to sick on somebody every once in a while. Retrieving something. Well, she made it sound like. And th this <clears throat> this van was parked where? Uh, my guy says it was uh, that we towed it from the same the location. Club. Do you guys remember seeing? Does anybody remember seeing a van out front? And mm -hmm. we do. Like honestly, we weren't there that that. Long. Yeah, you 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 don't recall. You don't recall. Okay. If there was, you didn't see it. Yeah. Could have been on the side. Yeah. Um. But it, the thing is, it sounds like 
the way Therese phrased it to us, that she had several layers of intel between her and the hunters. She made it sound like that, but she also didn't want to reveal it. So this could be the thing. She may be directly involved with them. Yeah. Did she? Because and it sounded to me like she was directly involved with them. Well, in other words, to me, she made it sound like she would have proxies. The way that she would send us to deal with something, mm -hmm. probably sending someone else. But in this case, it now sounds like she may be directly involved. Yeah, which, this, this... With all of her protestations that the hunters are hunting us down and they're killing all of our people. Well, Sounds maybe, like the lady doth protest too much. Well, stake out the meeting point, or it could be they're staking it out for the twins, and they want the the, the fragment. That's kind of how I read it. So, like, they don't want yeah, stand down with when the twins don't hurt the twins. Yeah, do not engage. They don't hurt they, blank bodies. Period. But get the fragment from the twins, which Unless means there are other twins. She's also telling us. So if it says any kindred, basically, that are there. She's telling us she didn't know that they were taking us there in the first place. Why don't we just ask Therese? Because Therese is a fucking liar. So? Why don't we see what she has to say about it? So we I are, think that we give that's up That's giving any... up too much Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't is think it? we can trust Therese to yeah. tell us how we found this. This is the only leverage we have. Yeah. yeah. How and you guys know that this is an official letter from the Society of Leopold to Hunters. I say we get rid of these bodies. Did I get any information? I rolled the four. Oh, okay. From the fragments, you think the fragments might be something that would interest most vampires and be the fragments from the Book of Nod. Ooh. Heard a little bit about this book. <laughs> They're, they're what? In the book of Nod. But so. you're not sure. But you know, just putting two and two together, he saw how pleased they were to like find the uh, the pouch, and they they risked their lives to go there, knowing that they're being hunted. Here's an idea. Why don't we get Dante in to talk to the Don? And okay. just ask, what was it that he was picking up? Sounds like a big fuck you, I'm not telling. However, well, you know, we brought up Dante, and I think that's a good idea. Dante's people deal with the dead. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? The Ooh. dead. Maybe they can get them to talk. So do we want to uh, call us Dante? And take the bodies to Dante? I think that's a good idea. Well, do we want Dante here in our haven? Well, I don't know, I don't know if, he need, if he needs ritual bullshit. Maybe we just... He yeah, know. he's probably got all his Maybe stuff we there. Go to him. But we, do we drive the van? We can, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, it's unmarked at this point. But we, it has no license plate. That's just... Can we get one of the license plates we from cut? the yard? We cut to Dante. <laughs> we cut to Dante. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're waking up. You already did a Ross check, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you did your Ross check. And upon awakening, you see a rat that's scuttering about the floor. And there's like a string around this neck with a note. Mm. I'm gonna grab that note. Roll a <laughs> Dex plus athletics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can just leave that open. Two success. Oh, you catch it and it doesn't even put up a struggle. Sweet. Good job. You want to grab the note? Yes. Okay. You open it up, and it reads. The Dawn, and you recognize the writing. It's from, um, I'll get to that. So, uh, it reads, the Dawn is at the end of his control, but is more dangerous than ever. Proceed with extreme caution and prejudice. 
complete my desired task and you will be made. Therese will be a good ally until then, but keep an eye on her. Go to Club Succubus tonight and hang tight. Emilio Giovanni. Uh, <coughs> Daddy. So now we go back to them. Papa M. <laughs> oh, I got to pee. Okay. There we go. We are rolling. We're rolling. All right, cool. Welcome back. I meet some pee pee. Oh my god. Yeah, me too. It'll only uh, take a DC six to discover mine. Fortunately, wait. That's listen, pretty listen, high. listen. Okay. Listen, hold on. We need to clear the record here. <laughs> I will not suffer this slander. <laughs> Charlie Saletto has a slightly above average penis. <laughs> And I don't stink anymore. The justification speaks for itself. <laughs> Listen, I get you, your new friends. You guys haven't seen me naked yet. Overcompensate. But you have they have. Been oh, we've all times, seen me naked dude. before. You've seen me naked? You've walked oh, yeah. oh, oh, well, no, I'm talking in real life. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Charlie Stiletto doesn't exist. I don't care for real life. Charlie Stiletto's <laughs> me, <laughs> God damn it. He's like, wait, you've seen me naked? He's like, shoot. What did I do? When I, yeah, I was like, when? <laughs> well, oh, I did live with you guys for a little <laughs> bit, so. <laughs> Listen, no, 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 no. We will not tolerate that slander. Oh <laughs> Slightly above average. <laughs> <laughs> All I mean, right, on that note. I've heard right. stories. Oh, I'm sure you have. <laughs> so show it a little respect. <laughs> for Christ's sake. DC That's stinky 10. stiletto. Okay, I'll I, I'll take stinky. I'll you take stinky. You know, stinky. and I'll keep I'll keep buying your fucking soap. But uh, recognize the member. They call you the stinky are stinky. a little too passionate about making sure we all think. Mm -hmm. It's my pride and joy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're. Pride I was a porn star. God damn it! <laughs> stinky stiletto. <laughs> Was Stinky or was Andrew? Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, not to derail. That's but... not how you got the tagline. <laughs> so you guys, where did we leave off? Um, um, uh, we were talking about going to Dante. Right. So, so I... Yeah, who's going to... Who, um, who's going to call Dante up? First off... Why don't we just show first up? First off, first oh, off... Well, we I guess we got to find out where he do, lives. Do you know where I live? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, you guys don't have any idea of where... Dante lives, or how exactly to reach right, her? Right. Everything's been going through Therese. So we need Jeanette. to figure out how we're gonna get in touch with Dante. Car, car. Landing on the van. God damn it! Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> well, the story ends here. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Fuck! I'm dead. Yeah. It lands on van. Dead. Yeah. There's. I a can speak to birds. It says. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. So a, a raven lands on top of the van, looking at you guys, like back and forth. Eric. All four of you. Put the head up. So you want to try to do uh, animal handling? Yeah. Okay. Roll. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Uh, I have it. Charisma plus uh, la, 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 animal can. Well, no, what I'm going to oh, do yeah. is I have the ability to speak to animal. All right, go ahead. We're gonna do that, which All right, is angle, yes. barrel whispers. Okay. Da, 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 da. Animalism, and so it'll be charisma plus animalism. Instead. Do it. Okay. One true. You're gonna make me talk in a raven voice. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, let's hear it, man. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm gonna look at it. I look it up on the roof and I go like this. I go ah! up to it. That is holy shit. All successes. Go call yourself. Oh, no, that is it's your one, two, man. three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, seven, you got it. You got it. You got it. eight successes. In. When you go, call, it goes go call yourself. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, That's your raven voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let me see uh, what message you have for me. And it flies over to you. From oh. Therese! And it drops into your hand. Thank you. And I'm just... 
It's like that's what you guys hear, but it hears You're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Not with eight successes, you bitch. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to say uh, thank you for your time, and I'm going to reach into my pocket and pull out some, like, bird seed. Bless you. Ah, thank you. And it's like... <laughs> 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 it jumps down and starts pecking away at the seed. Exactly. Yeah. I'll take a look at this note. The note says... Uh, what, what does the note say? Okay, yeah, I found the note. Okay, <laughs> it says... <laughs> The Don has informed me he would like to meet with you at St. Finbar Catholic Church in Burbank. Report back to me after the meeting. Just lead on that you're working with him. He sucks and fuck him. Therese and Jeanette. <laughs> mm. So I read that a lot to you guys. Uh... Yeah, we're not bringing this note with us. I'm going to burn it. <laughs> so, well, I guess not burning so, it. So, from Trees, where are we going? We're going to... St. Finbar's. Catholic Church in Burbank. Yeah. Burbank. That's a whole other Princeton. Because we're in Van Nuys. That's where our haven is. No. For, uh, NoHo. NoHo. Yeah, no. So we're not in know, fucking Van Nuys. That would be... the Baron of Burbank is, just in case we run, run afoul. Um, so we... a simple Google search will give you a location. But it won't tell us the Baron of Burbank. <laughs> that won't tell you, no. Can we go to the dark web and find out the information? Shrek Net. Shrek Net. <laughs> Shrek -net. Um, Except for none of us are like techie people. <laughs> Dirk Diggler. Listen, I bought a few drugs from the I deep web. Have like... you guys got Dante's cell phone information? No. God damn us. We Fuck barely guy, met, we barely were hanging out with the guy. We well look, we've got these corpses to deal with. Um I'm not gonna let them sit here and rot on our property. So are we towing them to Burbank? Or what the fuck do we do? First off, before anything, I wanna call on my ally. Do are you doing this in secret? Uh what? Do we have an incinerator? Do we? Yes. Do we? Roll D10. Let's 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 keep the bodies for now, just in case. Oh, what was I'm saying? The... You, I gave the bag back to. If Dante's oh, a ghost ghost uh, ghost diddler, oh, then maybe we should let him diddle the ghost. Where? You know, right, but if we can't contact them, then we're maybe sitting on the bed. bodies. I can't. Yeah, it. and how long can how long can the bodies be dead for for them to? Dante how long does a ghost to stay alive? Fucking forever. I don't. I don't know. Well then, what if it's a ghost? What the fuck do we need the body for? Well, the the body might have a, a link to the ghost. I don't know how this shit works. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yep, that one. Exactly. <clears throat> but still. Um. So let's just cart these three dead bodies across town. Okay. So, uh, I like the idea earlier. Um, Stigmata brought up. Can we tow three? Can yeah. we tow the van? Exactly. Good. Good call. I'll I'll hook up the tow truck and we'll just ride in the tow truck. Perfect. Can we follow behind the tow truck? I don't want to be in the tow truck if shit goes down. And yeah, get... we can get the driver to take us. Anywhere. Yeah, we'll follow the tow truck because that way we have. Well, if we got pulled over or anything. We're down. not in it. We're behind it, and we can get out and help versus us being ambushed. Oh, okay. I didn't think about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's all roll out. I'll say, if you want to roll in the truck with me in case we got to put the whammy on the cops. Okay, that sounds good. I'm exactly. Great with that. That's that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So okay. us me what the fuck are you with him? Yeah. I don't smell no more though. Because you're okay. lovely soap. But he is only in a towel. Yeah. <laughs> put some clothes on, please. Fine. Okay. And I come back and I'm wearing like really short shorts. <laughs> really tight, really short shorts. And and they've been washed in like three weeks. The stink is back. Yeah. <laughs> He's a stinky stiletto. I'll have to. I'll have to buy some laundry detergent from you. Stig. 
The Sorry. moniker doesn't lie. Stinky, <laughs> stinky the pinky. I've been broke for a while. I haven't been able to take my shit to the laundromat. You know we have a washer and dryer. And we have people to do our laundry. I don't know how to work those. You don't have to work those. You literally put them outside of your fucking bedroom and they take it and wash it for you. How long have you been staying with us, dude? Have you not seen the people that come and get our laundry? I only have two pairs of clothes. I sleep in the dirt sometimes. <laughs> yeah. still he said, I only have two pairs of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Got my battle jacket. We will, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, got, I got my I got my show wear and I got my lounge wear. Let's fucking just order him some fucking clothes. Instant yeah. Card. Okay. You guys could afford him a new wardrobe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna Amazon we'll, you some fucking clothes. Yeah. It's just like vampire costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get you a cape. Yeah. <laughs> With um. Some stockings. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we socks. Some sequin, sock. sequin shorts. Stilettos. Stilettos. <laughs> So you guys are doing what? We're splitting okay, up. They're in the, the tow truck, and then we're in the car with our driver behind. <laughs> they're in the so van. So let me get let me get this <laughs> tow truck, <laughs> van, car. Mm -hmm. That's the order. Okay. No, no, no. We're, we're always joking on the side. We're we're in the tow truck towing the van. Right, right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And tow truck, van, in the separate vehicle following behind. Driving. Okay. Cool. You can fix the music. Yeah. yeah, I put on some fucking uh, rancid. Cool. At least yeah, it matches the smell. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, like, uh, so you guys senses match. Yeah. So you guys get there without there's no cops trying to pull you over. Nobody's harassing you. Nobody hit the car or the tow truck. You guys arrive. Cool. It's fine. It's all good. So, when you arrive, it's a beautiful 1950s architecture. How many hours from oh, that? It took you like... 15, 20, 15, Yeah, it was minutes. fast. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just curious. Cause... Yeah, it was fast. Okay, just curious. Yeah. And so, there was like a bell tower on its uh, east front side. So, that's what it looks like. But it's like why it's been there for a while. You know, it's just Catholic church. Is this a real place? And it is. It is. It's a real place. So, I was curious. Uh, and it's it's just open, well, like because it's a church, it's open to the public right now. Well, it's it's night, right? What time well, is it? It's about maybe I would say seven or so. Okay. Also, Andy, I brought my owl with me. Okay. Okay. Cool. So you guys arrive. Okay. So can we walk in? Is it open? Do we need to like investigate around? Like, yeah, is your owl? Is that what you want to do? Building. Well, what is that I'm what you want to do? do is... <clears throat> The owl is actually going to stay back with the van and the vehicle, basically circling around, looking for any pesky animals that may be scouting around. Sounds good. Any like rats that are looking way too intelligent. That's and good. it's also looking for anyone who approaches the van and the vehicle. Okay. And I'll try to park it in a way that is a little bit, you know, off the beaten path anyway. So it's not like the very front where anyone driving by would go, like, why is this here? Okay. So, uh, and I'll make sure that the the van is locked as much as possible. Okay. And we don't, actually, I guess they probably would have had keys on the guys in the van. Um, you didn't find keys. The people in the van wouldn't have keys for their own van? You didn't find keys. Well, basically what I'll do is I'll lock the van regardless. Okay. Because I know how to open a lock. Okay. Yeah, you got a Slim Jim. Exactly. All right, cool. So do you. No. I got a slightly That was quick. That was quick. I got a I got a slightly above average gym. Right with a with a satisfying girth. That was that was smooth. I feel like that that won the contest. Yeah. That was the third round. Okay. Yeah. He's. He's in front of his coterie tail between his legs. He's lost all willpower. Yeah. <laughs> Negative three to all social rules. Okay, let's move on. So. All right. Damn. You gave me that, though. <laughs> I know. As soon as I said, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> so. So, you said, uh, you did, could you guys yeah, go can in? Can we, like, look around? Like, can we look around? I know that the owl's looking around, but, like, do we notice anything? Are there any cards in the parking lot? Like, a cult is there wise. anybody else there? No, there's, it's, 
Is there anything? I mean, there, like, there's light traffic going down the street. Is there markings on the outside of the building that, like, do it, we notice anything as we're approaching it? Wits plus awareness. For her, just her? Well, she's the one asking the questions. Okay. And then, uh, like, do I sense anything? Well, let, let me do it okay. one at a time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whose phone was that? Not I. It was my turn. Ooh, failure. Ooh, well, yeah. I, got a, I got a failure and then a death head. Oh. Yeah, like bad failure. Yeah, steal failure. <laughs> yeah steal you, failure. you don't notice anything. And she was blind. <laughs> she trips. <laughs> well, this well is actually, th this is when I could... Yeah, I, I could actually fuck with you. All right, get fucked, Stigmata. <laughs> oh, you had to want to look around. Th this is when a um a bane severity could kick in. <laughs> yeah, clan compulsion. <laughs> or, or yeah, whatever. Um, well, let me think about he what happens us if anything. Earlier, so now you want to fuck me? <laughs> but me but not nothing. Fine. Fine. Hold on, but but you notice nothing. Okay. You don't notice anything out of the ordinary. It just seems like a church. Old church has been there. Okay. Definitely well a church. Known. <laughs> it's definitely a church. Got uh, like that's the, the church. That's stuff. the steeple. We open, open it up. Where there's gonna be people. <laughs> Are they Charlie, gonna be dead? I wouldn't I would that. <laughs> this is some of the Society of Leopold's headquarters. Sure. <laughs> I'd say it's a fair bet. That's why I want. Oh uh, yeah, it's a fucking church. Yeah. Especially, uh, I mean, I imagine that's where those dudes have... hang out. The note said something we... Christ. Yeah, uh, we have it still. still. Yes, here, hold on. Let me let me pull this crumply piece of paper out of my pocket because mm -hmm. I needed it in case I need to wipe my nose. Uh, yes, unity in Christ. Yeah, you are and feeling. This is called. What's it Saint called? Saint Thimbar. Okay, Saint Thim Saint Thimbar. Never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna give you uh, since you. Did a bestial failure. Trying oh, to... boy. Yeah, that, that's like... Catholic Church in the Valley. Bet these priests are doing numbers. Let me read... You know what I'm saying. Compulsion. Let me find you a compulsion, sorry. Uh, oh, a pedophile? Yeah. Oh, oh big yeah. time. Pedophile? That's, uh, that's a priest's dream location right Holy there. Goodness. Oh, yes. No bueno. So you guys want to look around some more, walk in? Yep. I want to look door. around, see if I, like, get any, like... Can I get into the bell tower? Sort of. Is there any wards? Is there any symbols that are, like, etched into the ground? Is there any, like, like occult things I notice? It's very, very Catholic. It is a very holy place. People go there on a... They have Sunday school there. They have... No, I get that. But if I want to make sure like this isn't like a trap we're walking into and that there's... No, you don't there. see anything like that. No, okay. no. Okay. Mm -mm. Andy, yes. for me, I want to do a circle around the building. And what I'm particularly looking for are... You now there's sometimes low-placed windows that go into like a basement, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or even just the low-lying windows of the building that maybe look into... Uh, like classrooms and stuff like you that. You do see a window kind of going into the. Uh, sure? Yeah, it's on the sure. side and it's going in the left side of it where the the bell tower is. Okay, sure. I'm sorry. The the right side is where the bell tower is, but uh, on the left side there are some windows looking in, and you can see a bunch of pews and all that, and then any lights. Pew, pew, pew. You, you notice lights coming from a bunch of candles all throughout the church, just laid throughout, just purely candlelit, like it is in here right now. Mm. And you do see one guy in the very front, right in front of the altar at a pew, kneeling down in, uh, like, deep prayer meditation. What's he look like? His head's kind of hunched over, so, so it's kind of hard to see. What did you say? Is he wearing, like, priest's robe? Is he... He's wearing a black suit, but a big guy. Just kind of like... A suit? Yeah. So he could be wearing like a priest thing, but it just has only the little cassock at the top, or he could just be a guy in a suit. Yeah, it's really hard to to, to make it out. Um, and I only see one person like this, right? Yes. Do we? Right, I'll return. I'll return to the rest of you guys. Uh, if I roll anything, will that? I, I eat anything else? 
So you're going to get the paranoia compulsion right now. Because you're looking around. You're feeling really paranoid. So basically, I'll, I'll read you just what happens. So hunter and hunted. A vampire always needs to keep their eyes and ears peeled for trouble. With this compulsion, that need flares into full-blown paranoia as the hunger reminds the blood of its vulnerability. The vampire tries to disengage from any perceived threat, suspecting anyone and anything. Any action not taken toward that immediate to that uh, immediate ends incurs two dice penalty. The compulsion ends when the vampire has spent roughly an hour in a safe spot, rooftop, with good visibility, their haven, or buried deep underground. So you want to feel safe. You want to find a safe spot. You're, you're feeling really insecure about this whole situation. Super paranoid. What do you do to feel safe? And from with what you've seen, do you come back and tell them? Yeah, I'll loop. I'm gonna loop back around. And say I saw one. <laughs> I see one guy in there, a big guy in a suit, <clears throat> down over by the by the altar. But I don't see anyone else. No, there could be people in the shadows, like uh, the La Sombra. <laughs> I yeah, think, people. I think Lana hates me right now. No, I don't. I don't hate you at all. I'm trying to figure out. Um... You all right? You could yeah, stay. Yeah, looking. Uh, you could kinda, stay out and, and scope scope out the place. Let them go in and keep a watch on the outside. Yeah, I'm just a bit weary of. I feel like I don't really know any. Like we're in such a weird position right now. There's so many factors. I just don't trust anything. So I think I'm just going to stay uh, outside. I mean, you still have your owl running around. Um, I may just see if I can get up to the top of that bell tower. Oh, smart. Okay. And then I can just kind of like hang out. I need to decompress and have my thoughts. And I'm still trying to think of how we can figure out how we can get in touch with Dante without bringing... Like, we need to try to figure something out. Like, mm -hmm. if there was... If, Sanctuary! Yeah, we need to... Fit, I, I, I want to just go up there and collect... There is a ladder to the side of the building. Okay, going so I'm going to gonna, I'm gonna crawl up there and just tell them, like, yo, you guys go in. Or what? what, is, what is it that you guys want to do? Do you want to go in and try to suss this dude out? Well, but I'm going to stay up here. Shoot, it's open to anybody, right? Yeah, but if you're saying you saw a guy in a suit, <clears> typically you're seeing... You don't see priests walking around in suits. I mean, it could be the dog, or one of his men, or it could be one of his hunters. Yeah. Well, we got to get a hold of Dante, Dante anyways. So let's let's go in there. They know it could be one of these correct? Leopold fuckers. We'll cross you, that bridge when we get there. Yeah. You know, so I feel like if it's a vampire hunter, it would be good to get the jump on them. Yeah. So I want, I'm gonna stay out here, and I'm gonna like. What if we get ambushed? We can't all go in. I'm gonna. I want to use my scorpion's touch and get my dagger ready. Okay. Yeah, I'll. It, I'll have my like survival knife that, like uh, ready. Have to do Ross check. check. Okay, do Ross check. I fail. Your blood goes up, but you do, do turn your blood into a poison I as you poison. cut yourself, and you get poison blood all over your dagger. Ready, incognito. Yep. So I'm gonna have it by my side. It's just ready to go when if if anything turns bad. I'm gonna get um, the sawed off out of the truck. So I have okay. my Tuck scorpion's my touch ready, and then I'm still gonna I'm gonna let myself bleed just in case I need to do corrosive vitae. Okay. Yeah, give it a good squirt. <laughs> okay. So I'm not gonna like cover the wound yet. Okay. Charlie. And I like like I'm just psyching myself up, smacking my face. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's go. And you stealthily climb All up. Alright the... guys, good luck. You do a, a Dex plus athletics. I'll say Charlie. You're under some some pressure right now, you're feeling paranoid, so let's roll that. 
DC two. All of us, or just her? She's oh. climbing the ladder to go oh, to okay. the bell tower. I'll say if you that guy's a hunter. What is it? Beast will fail. Come back. <laughs> so as you <laughs> you start climbing it, and as you climb, oh fuck me, man. One of the, the supports on the ladder breaks and your foot goes stunk onto the one below makes a loud noise. Get it together, Thana. And you're double paranoid. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Thana's just That's over here having a panic mind. attack. <laughs> okay, this is the worst. Um, I'll be safe up okay. here. Ah! <laughs> so I am hella paranoid now because I made you're a loud ass noise. Yeah, um, so I was. Everybody's from, looking at me. It, well, yeah. good. My paranoia yeah. just went up to I, I, 11. I, I, yeah. And now to, Before it, you're at negative two for yeah, social now, now you're at negative three. Um, so does anybody come? Like, does anybody come out? Did I no. did I get the attention of anybody inside? You don't, you don't see anybody coming out. Okay. Did we hear her? Oh, you heard her. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So it was we're loud. There. We're still there. Okay. So it I was, look up. You at heard her. the, a loud snap, and then her foot hit the support below. Like, and, it was I'm looking, loud. and I'm looking up at her, and I'm like, dude, you good? Um, no. Fuck. I'm going to go in. Be fucking careful and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. I meant to Quit throw being myself so loud. Everyone's looking at you. I meant to throw myself you. down. <laughs> All I right. Thought, why not add in, uh, insult to injury here? <laughs> All right. I, I'm going to take Tukum's advice and like kind of try to quietly sneak in. You walk in, and um, the person that he saw earlier with his head down just kind of has his head slightly up a little bit. And it's, um, let me see. I'm trying to remember what they look like. Let me look this up. But their head is up because they, they took notice of the noise outside. Okay. Yeah. So you, they're, they're kind of like this, like looking to the direction of where the, the noise came from. And as I'm like walking and I just like hip check a pew well, and act well, like hold, I'm. Hold, uh, hold on, one second, one second. I'll explain that how it looks in there and all that and blah, okay. blah, blah. Oh, you've got that. Yeah. He okay. has a big. Tattoo that says Vampire Slayer on his chest. Right, yeah, right yeah. here, right here. I hate vampires. Oh, he's not wearing an I love vampire shirt. Oh uh, no, <laughs> unfortunately not. I love. Aww. It says I love vampires, and he brushes his hair to the side. I love killing vampires. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Has an X through the heart. Uh, <laughs> uh, I believe bald head, right? Well, anyways, you walk in. Oh, the short guy and the guys from before? Well, you walk in. I have that written down. And there's about 50 pews on each side, right? And there's an aisle down the middle that separates the pews. The whole place, is, as you saw earlier, was completely candlelit. Um, sure. But most of the candles are in front of the altar. And there's some, like, lanterns hanging oh, from the ceilings the all throughout. Um... And <laughs> yeah, so and it's giving like minimal light throughout the whole church. But you notice at the very front of the church is that guy that you notice he's a Hulk of a figure, and he's he's back to kneeling in front of the pew, and his head's back to down. He just kind of ignored the the noise outside. Um, and yeah, he's a recognizable figure. It's it's Bruno from the nightclub. The there guy you go. who, who Bruno! Just, he's the one that displayed the uh, the. Uh, he had the really impressive display of like shadow power. power yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. So you you yell that Bruno, uh, Bruno, guys, it's Bruno in here. He makes no motion that he acknowledges you. Oh, okay. Like he's like, like what? Chance. Are you gonna act like you don't know me, dude? He goes. Shh, shh. Alright, I get it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, Bruno was the twin. There's Bruno and Bruno. <laughs> and he's just he's sitting Bruno, there. Bruno. So, uh, yeah, I, I walk over Bruno. to him. Mm hmm. And, uh, you know, I kneel down next to him. He you, doesn't you acknowledge praying? you. Huh? You're praying? Who are you praying to? 
and he's completely like he's in a deep meditative trance right now. He's just ah, oh, you're doing your you're doing your shadow magic, okay? And so, but after some time, from the front left of the church, inside the confessional, you hear um, like <gasps> mm-hmm. some gasping and moaning. Ooh, what's going on in there? And yeah, Bruno's still <laughs> head down. And then on the left side of the confessional, out walks a, a dude with a long hat, it's a white robe, red sash, and all that shit. It's a bishop. Oh, okay. It's a bishop. I thought it was a KKK guy for Decked a out. <laughs> Grand wizard over yeah. here. <laughs> it's David Duke. <laughs> yeah. He goes, hey, wake up, white people. No, um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. You can get me canceled. So, so, yeah. He walks out and he's decked in full garb. And, and there's, he, you smell it. You can't, he can't hide it. But he's walking out in a daze and there's like a little blood on his the collar of his robe. Huh. And, and that's th- what the moans were from? And then from the other side of the confessional, mm-hmm. out walks the, the, the really stocky, peppered hair, hair of the sombra that, that you know is Tony. Okay. Joan! What's going on, guys? He does the sign of the cross. And, and the bishop, in a daze, he goes... I don't know what happened in there. I must must have passed out. I've been so overworked these past few weeks. I, I've I must have been neglecting my meals. Maybe hitting that communion wine a little too hard too, Father. And Tony just like shakes his head at you, <laughs> not acknowledging you. And then he, Tony replies, "Was your 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 holiness? Please go home and get some rest. Our parish has been blessed." your presence as of late but now it's time to make you leave and the bishop goes yes yes i think it's time to make my leave and so with that tony grabs the bishop's hand and with a smile he kisses it and says your holiness and motions for him to leave and and the bishop just stumbles down the aisles and leaves and bruno's He's still at the pew in deep meditative prayer. And then Tony says, says to you guys, well, now that our holiness has left the building, the adults can talk now. Finally. So what's what's we, the score, guys? We heard you calling out, it's so-and-so, it's Bruno, right? From yeah. the side. What? We would have heard because he called back to us at the beginning of this conversation. He's like, it's Bruno, dude. Come in. Yeah, that's like what I said when I saw Bruno. Oh, okay. Yeah. We were, yeah, I called him in. So the, in. the two of us should be walking in probably at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll walk in. And so, yeah, he's kind of like... Tony laughs at the whole thing. You know, he laughs at the, you know, that he just fed on the bishop. He thinks it's pretty funny. And the bishop has no idea what happened, so he's like chuckling at it. And he goes, well, so, the Don wants to know your answer. Will you help us take out Trace and Jeanette? What have you guys spoken about? So, uh, well, there's, oh, I'm walking in past the priest as he's leaving. Um, you what? Like, the priest is leaving, I'm walking past them. As oh, okay, the bishop, yeah, yeah. Father. Yeah. And then... Who yeah, he, he as, you, as, you, as you go father, he yeah. comes up to you and like puts his hand out. Therese sent the okay, raven. So, okay, you kiss it. Okay. This is ring. Okay. So Ready? Therese sent the raven. Why did she fucking send us here? Well, she said that she said it was a request from the dawn. <clears throat> oh, she did. Okay. So where is the dawn? He's indisposed. We need to get back in touch i, I asked you to, guys, to i asked you guys a question yes uh, don't ask me a question no no, no so i'm not asking him a question. question i'm talking to him as we're walking in like mm. quietly we need to figure out doctors and for a while we're here yeah 
Uh, but then to answer their question, I'm going to say, we already told the Don we agreed. We agreed that we would get information on Therese and that we would relay that to him. Yeah, but what did you guys speak about? With Therese? Yes. We had to give her some fucking bullshit. Reassurances that were on her side, basically. We let her know that everything was good, and, um... Roll a... You two roll a, um... Manipulation plus persuasion. Yep. Not Mani me. Manipulation... <laughs> Manipulation and persuasion. One, two. One. Two. Not me? Well, did you ask any questions? No. Okay. If you're not part of the conversation, you can't roll. Okay. okay. Um, do you want to be part of the conversation? Yeah, I do. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> so he, they both just kind of like they look at each other, Bruno and Tony they smile. They go, oh, hmm? what, you're about to say something? Just what were we talking up, about Charlie. again? Charlie, <laughs> just shut up, man. Okay, fine, <laughs> fine, fine. Sorry about him. So we go, hmm. So, what did she say? We just gave her reassurances that we would... What sorts of reassurances? She asked us what happened. We told her what the Don told us to tell her. That everything went smoothly and nothing uneventful. And she doesn't know we're supposed to be watching her. And they both smile at you. They nod their heads. They back up. They back up. They go into the shadows. They disappear. Wait, hold on a second. We need, we need, we need to read Dante. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> Great. How are we supposed to get in contact with Dante now? We need to get them more information. So we need to go back to Therese and get information about how to contact Dante and get information for the Dawn. More information about for yeah, but what are we gonna tell? Uh, you're not there. I okay. <laughs> <laughs> she well, and so yeah, but you know what? Well, like, we need hold on. Not, we we Shh. cut. We you cut to here. Dante in fucking church. Shut the fuck up, all people. We go to Dante. You're at you're now at Club Succubus, mm. and. You get to the office with Therese. And she goes, how are you doing tonight? A little excitement tonight. Oh, really? What? Well, you know, just uh, tailing the dog. How so? Okay, I, I get it. You you guys have your ways, and you don't want to expose them. I get it. I get it. Well, we have a bad feeling about the Don and his men. That they're in on our, on our intel. What intel is that? Just things. They're always a step ahead of us. And it's very... We're going to start searching this place for bugs. Mm, I see. Could you help us? I can do that. And so it's like... It's literally her... Uh, Christian and you. She doesn't even have her goons in there. Just searching around. So roll a... Um, let's see. Roll a... Uh, la, 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 la. Wits plus... Investigation. Uh, to success. Mm. So after some time, you you they're looking through like the cupboards and 
and the sink and stuff like that. They uh, and then you come to the desk where the Don was sitting, and then underneath the desk, uh, you notice uh, um. They're searching Teresa's office for bugs. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you notice that there's a a covert listening device underneath the desk. No Buddha. You found it. Do you keep this information to yourself? Do you say anything? I think I want to keep it to myself. Because okay. then when we find out who planted it there. Well, you could almost the gather. Dawn was sitting. Yeah, you could almost gather right away. The dawn was sitting at that desk the night, like a few nights before. He planted it. You know it almost for certain. It was the dawn because Therese wouldn't do it. She wouldn't bug her own room. But Jeanette might. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> Jeanette's bugging it so that she can get back at Therese. <laughs> no, Jeanette might. You're right. <laughs> So, what do you want to do with this information? Mm, I think I'll keep it to myself. Keep it to yourself. Okay. So, we cut back to you guys. So, Succubus Club? Yeah. What oh, do you yeah, think, so. Stigmata? We need to get out of here real fucking quick. Yeah, I don't like hey, these guys hey. and their creepy shadow magic. We need to get out of here real fucking quick. Yeah, that's what I was saying. All right. <laughs> I go to the I go to the staircase by the watchtower, Donna. And I just emerge from below. Roll like I Dex plus athletics. Yeah. I'm sure that this side of the table. Oh yeah, for sure. Right on. I'm gonna have my arms out in case she falls. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's on that one second bullshit. Let me try it again. Fail. Just a normal fail, though. So she starts to climb down. She's shivering. You've never seen Thana in this paranoid state before. And she's climbing down. Her hand slips. You roll a, uh, a strength plus... Mm, I guess that might be... Um, Strength plus athletics. Strength and athletics. Catch her. Catch her. Catch her. Catch me. Oh no. <laughs> Critical failure. Uh, no, three successes. Okay. You catch her with ease. She, does, she ah. doesn't hit the floor. She falls. Into the safety yeah. of your right. of your muscular <laughs> arms. I'm just like I just like I'm holding you there like this, like kind of done like this. I'm like, are you alright? No, I am not. But thank you. Are you gonna carry you back to the car? <laughs> yeah, Dana, what is going on I'm with you? Carry you back. To the, I'm not gonna let you fall on the ground and trip. I'm just like like fireman carry. Like it's okay. Like, it's and then okay. are we back? All are are all of us back at the cars? Because now I want to say something to them. Yeah. Okay. I'll put you in the, the passenger seat. What did you guys find inside? They know something's up. We need to be fucking careful about what we say. We need to not talk in that fucking church. Charlie? What? <laughs> you guys sent me in! I just told you! <laughs> Shut it's, the fuck up, yo. Well, so you guys are in the car now? No, we're out. We're Wait, sitting what? outside the car. What cars. happened in there? They, Will uh, somebody explain it to me? The two... You guys want to get in the car and go to the club? Well, let's just about talk about it on the way two there. different cars. Oh, two different cars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we quickly need to okay. break down what happened inside her. So we quickly break down what happens inside okay. her. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> um, um, okay, so they just fucking disappeared? They disappeared. Yeah. They did their yeah, shadow shit. But, but we weren't alone. So you... You told them what we wanted them to think happened, and then they fucked up. Yeah. I'm not sure they believed us. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, it doesn't sound like it. I don't think us. they 
quite believed it, but at the very least, I think they know that we're at least trying to stay on their good side. Well, what? What is? Why are they in a church? I don't. I'm so confused. They were eating the priest. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it just is getting weirder all the time. Um, well, let's get the fuck out of here. We need to get to Club Sectivus <clears throat> as soon as possible. We need to... What are we going to do with these dead bodies? Well, we need to find Dante. So we need to get the information from we did, They That's, just need to come with us. We were going to yeah. get it from them, but they were gone. And But I don't think they were gone. All right, well, They're probably still fucking listening to us. So we need to get the fuck out of here. And I'm going to say to you... Is there any Tremere bullshit magic that can protect from shadow magic? Not that I have at this moment. I can do some research and find out if we can get anything. But what I can do is I can send... I don't know if this is their regular spot. So I don't know if Scour Secrets will actually do any good here. Mm. But that is something I can do once we figure out kind of what we need. And I can use that back at Club Succubus to get Dante's information, which is what I was going to do once we get there. Okay. So we can definitely get Dante's information and kind of go from there. And at the very least, we can always come back to this place if... Uh, and, and do some... Recon. Recon if we need to, yeah. But I think the best point of action right now is to get the fuck out of here, go to Club Succubus and try to get a hold of Dante... And I can do scour secrets as soon as we get there. And then I lick my wrist and uh, close the blood. All right, Club Succubus. Club <clears throat> Succubus. So, yeah. All right. So you guys want to go there? Yeah. Let's let's roll. Let's roll out, Autobots. Well, you guys arrive, and the place is hopping. You know. Right on. Um. Place is hopping. And you get to you get to Teresa's room. Mm -mm. Before we do, yes, just in the car. I know that. I know that uh, Stigmata is going to want to try to find some information about Therese that we can hand over to the Lasombra at this point. But I don't feel like it, it behooves us to make anything up. And it doesn't seem like we should be seeking things out. No, everything. everybody is going to have all eyes on us at, at, at every point of the night on both sides. We have to just play this really, really close to the hip and not reveal anything. To and anything that we're on to anybody. We need to be ready to get out. Yeah. Absolutely. So We have to also just be prepared to ditch ditch that tow truck with the van. If we have to get out in a hurry, we'll just take the one car consolidate down to one. Yeah. At least this van will be the, at, at Succubus, and we'll figure it out later. They know your truck. Right. And I call them from the <clears throat> other, other car. So I ring, 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 ring. No answer. answers. Okay. Yeah. I say, we need to go in looking really like we're here, just normal. I'm going to go in and find my people and feed. Um, Same Z's. Yeah, I need to drink. I'm a paranoid wreck. I need, I need. So I think we stuff. go in like and you're, we you're starting to come do. down a little bit. You're feeling a little more at ease. You got away from the church. You're, you're no longer in the place that stresses you out. Normally when we come to Club Succubus, the first thing we do is feed. So I think if we do anything different than that, that looks suspicious. If we just go immediately to Teresa's office without being called, that looks suspicious. Right. So we should go in and I'll find my people, I'll feed, Charlie's going to find his people, he's going to feed, and we can kind of do our normal day-to-day -day activities and then go to Teresa's office Great. so that we look like we're just there. Like we're just doing our normal situation, mm -hmm. Teresa's going to call us into her office like she normally does, and then we'll go in and talk to her because she always fucking calls us every time we come here. Well, so Christian's not with her this time. He's going to be fucking Oh, I her. hope he is. I love Christian. <laughs> and maybe we can actually talk to our people. Donna. No, well, well. That's another fucking thing on the list. Yeah, of we're things. still waiting on his ass to get back to us. So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so our, our, we're parked, right? One thing at a time. Yeah. Also, so I, I think, think if anyone asks us questions about fucking anything, 
We don't know anything. We need to be more tight-lipped. Uh, yeah. Agreed. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, don't let me <laughs> say anything. How about you just keep no, your Charlie. fucking How about someone else Charlie. open their mouth first? Charlie. 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 Okay, all right, so. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, <laughs> Charlie, talking is what you do best. Just do less amounts of it. Okay, I'll try to rein myself in a little bit. Can we get him some, like, noise-canceling like, headphones so he can't hear shit? Look, I'm going to give so him. He doesn't talk. Wait, you just talk I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a role. Right. How does that sound, Charlie? Uh, yeah, all right, all right. I can play a role. Job. Yeah. What's my job? So what's my job? My job is protecting you fuckers. Uh -huh. Your job is if we fuck up, you cover us. You cover what we say. All right. If we flub, you unflub us. All right. <clears throat> Unflubber engage. <laughs> so. Great. You talk after. Yes, I do not talk first. Stop kicking doors in. But, well, listen, I need you to talk because I can't have silence. <laughs> silence sometimes makes them start talking first so we can kind of figure out a game plan. All right. Like I said, try to remember that. Unflubber. 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 No flubs for me tonight. Can you just stop talking now? I do He's like the little zip. The whole lip. ride, guys. The whole fucking car ride. And I hang up. <laughs> and, yeah. And we'll as you guys, at the club. As you guys are talking. Car. Car. Fuck. Oh, another fucking bird. What what one is it going to? Our our car or the It's going to the one where he's in. Oh, okay, okay. So let's roll down the window. Yeah, I roll down the window. Like, what's up? Because we're not driving, so we're in the back. So. <laughs> Blackbird yeah. singing in the middle and, of the night. Like, with its little claw, like, takes, like, the, like, a note from it, puts it in this claw, and, like, grabs it with this beak and holds it up. Okay, and I take it. Okay. Thank, like, you, Thank you, kind bird. Thank you, pretty bird. <laughs> it flies off. It's All right. What does this shit say now? I'm going to unravel the little scroll. Let's see what Roll it says. Roll up the window. We don't want anybody to hear us. Yeah. It says, hey, fuckface. Your show went perfect the other night. Absolutely splendid. In fact, I got word from Thomas Butler, a Capitol Records talent scout, and he wants to see you guys perform in the flesh before he consider signing you to their label. Right on. No pressure, but don't fuck this up. You're performing again tonight to a private audience. Be firing on all fucking cylinders. Leave no room for any competition at this blood sport. 11 p.m. sharp. Right on. Is that from Therese? Uh, just Jeanette? just from the tone of it, you assume it's Jeanette, because Jeanette deals with all the bookings. Right. Okay. Well, I guess I got a show tonight. So I call them back. Is there a hey, silver card? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just got a raven. And I guess she's performing tonight, so we have a reason to be here. <laughs> So, Is that all it said? No, it's private audience. Private fucking audience? Yeah, so that's fun. Big news for me! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Is it at the club? It's at the club. Pee time. Yeah, pee yep. time.